Before we begin, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome, passengers, to. Well. Oh, this is. It doesn't matter. It's. Today is an experiment. We will be going on a journey, a unique one, using the Kids on Bikes role playing system. You will notice that I only have one player at my table, one passenger in this car. Hello, Billy Baker. Hello. Circumstances have presented themselves in a unique way. This will just have to do. But I will not allow them to buy you tokens, Billy. <laughs> it would be broken. Given the situation as you the only one collecting them, it would destroy any sense of story. So tonight, we'll be playing the system as it's meant to be played. When you fail, you collect an adversary token. Keep track of those. You'll need them. Do you have any questions before we hit the road? Hmm. So the more I fail, the better, the more tokens I can use. Correct. Cool. But failing can be quite disastrous. Right. Okay, cool. I'm good. That's it. That's it. That's all you need to know. That's all I need to know. Okay. Let's drive. Hello, and welcome to Kolak, America's heart. Life is generally easy in Kolak. The spirit of our small town is built around enjoying life, despite our technological empire. Kolak is like Paris. Art, music, and treasures of life are not just incidental. They are central to the spirit of our little town. This is a special gift for visitors and those who live in our vast green valley. Kolak's natural beauty can be thanked to the peaks that tower over us in our four corners, shielding us from the elements. Spend the day at Crater Lake, fed by the ever-flowing Riley River. America's heart. Enjoy our historic Main Street, or take a tour of our world-famous Shepherd's Winery. My favorite. Golok prides itself in being a world leader in renewable energy and advanced medicine. All thanks to our most famous attraction, Synchroneity Tech. Many new families find their home in Kolak. Brought in to fill one of the country's most exciting genetic research facilities, many open roles. <laughs> Science is at the very soul of Kolak, unlike anywhere else in the world. Gated by nature itself. You found yourself back at the start. We begin again, August 2nd, 1991. An undisclosed location somewhere within Kolok, Washington. We could assume. Billy Baker's eyes begin to open. As he tries to move, he can feel that his arms his legs are restrained. He's on his back. He can feel that whatever is there is cold metal. The light above you is so bright, though. Hard to focus. Be able to see around you, your eyes taking a moment to adjust. It's a strange room, Billy Baker. You can hear the sounds of footsteps further away. As you turn your head to the right, you see a tray. On this tray, an assortment of devices, sharp, used most likely for cutting. As you turn your head to the left, 
you notice a TV. As you look up into the corner, another. In fact, this room. So many of them. The contents currently unknown to you, but they're on, flickering, but showing you nothing in particular. What, what would you like to do? What am I restrained with? Is it rope? Leather straps. Can I try to reach any of the tools on this tray? As you move your arm to the right, Billy Baker, you realize your wrists, as they are restrained down by your legs, you can't even remove them towards the edge of the bed. Unfortunately, you're quite stuck. And that's when you notify the individual. It's all starting to come back to you now. There was a man in a red suit. He was talking to you in the funeral home. And now you're here. This strange man, he spoke of you in an interesting way. He referred to you as the Diviner. He said that he was sent to capture you. And it looks like he's succeeded in that. You've now notified this individual through your movement. And you can kind of make him out, out of focus on the other side of the room. As he walks towards you, he has a large grin on his face. You're awake? <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of overdid it. A little too much. You're scared. No, I'm not. You smell scared. What? Ew. You have no reason to be afraid. No, no reason to be scared. For now. <laughs> Just for now. It's fine. Later, yes. What do you yes. mean later? Oh. Well, his eye line moves down to the tools. We're putting on a show. What? For who? All of them. All of you. <laughs> well, the real, the real you. You, you know that, though. Yes. I'm the real me. What are you talking about? Oh, Billy. That's not true. You know that's not true. What? No, it's true. I'm me. And you're the pretender. The lie. Okay, I'm not going to trust anything coming out of the mouth of a guy wearing a red suit. What? Who talks about what I smell like. What, what you don't like? I... No one looks good in a red suit. What? You look like Santa Claus. Who's Santa Claus? He's a powerful wizard. It's ridiculous. So um, okay, so you were hired to capture me. You said by me. Uh, okay, job well done. You're dismissed. Well, that was just part one of the job. What's part two? What they want. The TVs? Well... You? How are you not following along? Come on, Billy! Okay, so me as in the other me's from other universes, like they want... They want to watch you torture me. <sighs> yep. Okay. You've hurt them so much. I, I uh, honestly, I... He leans in close, hiding his face from the TVs on the opposing side of yours. Whispering in your ear. Honestly, I admire you. I... I'm a big fan of your work. Huge fan. I, I didn't want to go this far, but you, you can appreciate the circumstances, yes. You can just let me go. <laughs> you, you of all people should know that you don't. Just stop. He leans back up. 
grabs some rubber gloves off of the tray, starts to slide them over his hands, one at a time. Well now, as they snap on his wrists, where would you like me to start? Uh, if you had a choice, I'm giving you that much. Start what? The procedure. Uh, you can start by kissing my butt. You're embarrassing me. In front Don't of me. Do that again. I have an image to uphold. I'm sure you can understand. You should kiss my butt. Billy Baker, roll your charm. Difficulty of six. Four. His hand slams down on the tray. A couple of the sharp objects go flying in general directions. One sweeping past your face. No, you listen to me, Billy. I am giving you the common common courtesy to... As a fan of what you do and what you have done... I would like to extend an invitation to allow you to dictate how you will proceed, but if you would like to treat this as a game, then I will as well. And I will start with each of your small little toes, working your way up your shin, cutting off an inch at a time. I'm sorry. I've just been waiting for this moment for so very long. I will not let you spoil it with your immature antics. Okay, uh, I have an idea. A real show. Let me, let me free. And that, you, me and you will go, not... we'll toe to toe. <laughs> we could fist fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good show? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why? Like, you're a grown man. You could kick my butt. I could just... flay you now. I, I have the upper hand. That's... They didn't... <laughs> We're not here to negotiate the terms of your release. There is no term of release. I do not... I don't want to be released. I want you to kick my ass. <sighs> Let me free so you can beat me up. Roll your charm. Difficulty of ten. Seventeen. That was a success of greater than six. How unfortunate. So you think that if I let you go, that this will... Please. Those who hired me. Yeah, well, surely I can't hold my own in battle against you. Let's fist fight. So be it. I am done with your embarrassment. As the man walks towards your restraints, Billy Baker, and your heart rate starts to increase, you feel an opportunity coming. As his hands go to reach for the straps... The TVs in the room all begin to flicker and blare out with a static before all the screens switch to an image you've seen before. Hands, faces, a call out to you, a distress. You recognize this feeling, these people, much like your friend last March, a Miss Sky Hawkins. Roll your brains for me, Billy Baker, difficulty of ten. 
One. You don't understand what any of it means. But they call out to you. This takes the man back. He remembers he's being watched. That he has a job to do. He lowers his head in shame. Sorry. Sorry. I've let a child provoke me. Can we start over? Sure. <clears throat> I am honored to be in your presence, the great diviner. You may call me Devour. Devour. Like eat? <laughs> yes. There's another way you and I are similar. I like to eat, yeah. No. We all do it. Destroy. Consume. Take what we want. That's not me. <laughs> you got me confused with some oh, other well, Billy in some I other know universe. Exactly who you are. You're not Billy. Lie. 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 Why don't you be honest with them? The TVs. Your audience. Who are you? Admit it. Can you? Hello, TVs. My name is Billy Baker. No. <laughs> and this guy's crazy. Uh, Some sort of pervert in a red suit. <laughs> a knife jams into your right leg, above the knee and the thigh. Roll your grit for me, difficulty of 12. Eight. You feel an immense amount of pain. Shoot up your right leg. It flows. This pain. You can't remember the last time you felt pain like it. You try to keep your composure. But you can't. He has the upper hand. As he holds the knife in your leg and he twists it ever so slightly. <laughs> Mr. Baker! Some honesty, perhaps. What? What? I don't know why I'm here or what you want. Who are you? I'm Say it. Billy. No. Who were you before? I don't know. What? What do you. What do you mean you don't know? I don't remember. You don't remember? What do you. He twists the knife a little bit more. Ugh. Roll your grit difficulty of ten. One. The pain. Overwhelming. Billy Baker. You can feel it in your spine. Your fingertips. Your eyes begin to water. You're having a hard time staying conscious. He wants answers from you. Words, but you find those hard to form. You don't remember, but yet you do all this. Do all what? You destroy. Mr. Baker, you destroy. They know it, we know it. Everyone knows it, you destroy. It is in your nature. I don't know it. Some crazy guy in a cave told me that. <laughs> but you do. You do it. I you, you think this was an accident? That, that you are this boy who has the power to reshape the world and it's an accident. I don't think it was an accident. 
Why are you here? And why are they there? As he points to the televisions. Someone sent me here. You're not Billy Baker. I know. But I don't know who I am. I don't know. They sent me here. From some other place. But I don't know who, who I was. And what did they send you to do? That's unclear. Is it? Or have you done exactly what's in your nature? Mr. Baker. And that's why I admire you so. You're just... Every one of them. Nineteen? Twenty. Twenty. (sighs) How I, I, I... I spent... A lifetime, Mr. Baker, trying to achieve what you have. Failed. And, and this is my ultimate ascension to to take from you. That's the only way I can achieve greatness. If you can take this power, you can have it. Oh, I can't take the power. Just your life. Uh, I've now failed four times. Can I use premonition to see if there's any weird stuff going on around me? And by that, you mean the ability to kind of look through... Any illusions or... Yeah. I will allow it. Billy Baker. While in this place... You reach out. You have a hard time breaking through whatever drug he knocked you out with. Your mind is cloudy. The pain, cloudy. But as you look through and forward, you see the lie. This man. The lie you see, though, is not his existence. It's who sent him. By looking through this lie, you see yourself. You. You yourself called out to him, brought him here from another world, destroyed his own. The memory of this, like a dream, like some part of you, that you can't even remember accessing. It just is. It just was. You were the Billy who called for him. But these others took advantage of the moment. They guide him. They coach him. They speak to him. Are you even real? What does that even mean, Mr. Baker? Am I even real? (laughs) I'm I'm like you. I'm, I'm, I I take what's mine and I, and I, and I, I excel. I devour. I've been following you. What you did to my world, if I could have done, I would have. The only way I can even be a fraction of as great as you is to, to destroy you. You see that? I'm 14. 
<laughs> um, meaning. I mean, go for it. If it's gonna make you feel better to to kill a fourteen year old kid, yeah. Have at it. Do you think I revel in a change in age or? Your age is irrelevant. You are the destroyer. You are the great diviner. You're just guilt. You're not even. You're not a person. <laughs> I brought you here. What? You're just in my head. I am real. I can assure you. No, I don't think you are. I don't know that any of this is real. Are they? As he points to the TV behind you. Do you even know who they are? They're you! Or at least the you you lie to be. Mr. Baker. How you identify yourself, this skin that you wear. This mask. They're the real you. And you've locked them away for eternity. What do you mean? You took their worlds. Where did you think they would go? I thought they would disappear. Oh, so you did know. Well, that's what the crazy guy in the cave told me. You kill. Without regret. Billions upon billions of lives. You are. I, I, I'm in front of greatness. You are. You. Man will never know of you and what you've done. I know. I, I sought you for it. But upon your death, your accomplishments will be forgotten. The world's most successful, elaborate mass murderer. No one could ever even achieve what you've done. You've murdered worlds over and over and over. Untouchable. It wasn't murder. <laughs> then what was it? It was satisfying, necessary means to an end. And what do you think it is I do? Torture is necessary. <laughs> it's not a kill to balance, to, to, to feed the world. What we, makes what you do any different? What I do feels right, and it helps me and my friends. You don't even have friends, do you? You don't know what that's like. You think they're your friends? Do you think if they heard the cries of the children as their world depletes underneath them, they would pity you? They're not your friends. They don't even know who you are. You're telling me that these other universes are just as important as ours, and I have no proof of that. And that's why I admire you. You validate it. You make that choice. You own it. The TVs in the background begin to flicker again. 
The man lowers his head, backs away. Y yes. I, I can. Who are you talk? Let me talk to them. Fine. They would like to speak to you. Great. Yeah, talk to me. Mr. Baker. I can... I can... help. <sighs> Billy Baker turns to his left. The TVs all begin to flicker at a similar pace. And then the room calms. You hear a voice coming through this TV, Mr. Baker. It's your voice. As a face comes into view. Go ahead. If you have something to say, say it. Uh, are you real? Yeah. We're real. We had families, lives, worlds that we lived in. But now we're here. Because of you. And we're gonna stop you. Okay, first of all, sorry. Uh, secondly, where? And why? And thirdly, uh, fourthly, prove that you're real. I'm pretty sure this guy in a red suit is just my own guilt, and I can create universes out of universes. How do I even know that these other universes exist? How do I know that anything around me is real? Am I dreaming right now? Am I still in a coma? How do I know any of this is real? I can't have a power of shaping reality and then believe anything. What if I'm just creating realities when I'm angry? What if everything around me is made up and I'm making it up? So prove that you're real. What can you do? I'm Billy Baker. I'm 14 years old. I watched the universe around me dissolve. And then I got marched into this room where now I watch you do that to others to create whatever you are. This weird, like, makeup of a person. You don't even know what you are or who you are. And you're using us to create you. And I invite you to keep doing that. Because you do it enough, and there's going to be enough billies here for us to break out and stop you. So, keep doing what you're doing. I know where you are. Your whole universe disappears, but whatever part that I needed gets sent there. This is where Sky was, yeah? That is correct, Billy Baker. I will allow you to roll your brains. Difficulty of six. Five, and I have one token. I'll use it. You recognize this phenomenon, this ability to speak through to the town of Kolok through these screens, these 
windows into the lives of all of us that we all share, that every house, every store, a window into our world to keep an eye on us. Sky Hawkins found one of those rooms. She was resting there. You were able to pull her out. She claimed she was in the grotto. I know exactly where you are. I mean, not the exact room. And it might take like an eternity to find the exact room, but I know your location. Do you believe, do you believe in, like, a, do you believe in a creator? What? Like you? Do I believe in you? No, like, do you believe in God? Like, a, are you religious at all? Yeah. But, you don't need to know anything about me. You killed my world, and I'm gonna kill you. So you can't do it anymore. Okay. Okay, cool. So you're religious. You believe this was all created and all happened for a reason. Personally, I don't really believe in that. Why why would like why would a god give me this power, right? And then and then like test me to not use it. Say, here's this ability to help you and your friends get what you need in this really fucked up world. And then, like, I'm not supposed to use it. Why, why would a god do that? Well, it's just like you said. He's testing you. Easy. And you've failed the test. It works in mysterious ways. You've heard that. But it's up to you to, like, figure out what's right and wrong. And you chose the wrong one. Okay, but why would why would I want to like why would I want to follow a god that's testing me? Why give life and then test people? And then why why give one person so much responsibility and power and allow them to mess up in ways that hurt people? Like my gain is coming at someone else's loss. So he's tested me at your loss. Why would you be mad at me? Why not be mad at the creator that even allowed for that situation to happen? You're upset with me and this God that you believe in basically said, kill all of these people. I don't care. I'm testing you. Why, why are you upset with me? That's a point. But I'm not going to claim to know to have all the answers. All I know is that you screwed up. And because of it, I'm stuck here. And I have to miss everyone I know and everyone I love. They're just a memory forever. And I don't know if I can even, like, die now. I just have to sit here and wait and watch you. So I have nothing else to live for here except getting out and stopping you. And you just gotta accept that that's my fate because nothing else has been presented to me. Okay, well, I don't believe in God, but I do believe in this company called Synchroneity that's really messed me up and gave me this power that I don't want to have. And I sympathize with you, actually. And, like, I don't want to be in this situation. I don't want to be destroying other universes. Like I said, I don't even know that you exist. You might just be a part of my brain, but if you are that part of my brain, then you're guilt, and I'm guilty right now. And I'm gonna... I know where you are, and I want to help you get out. The TV shuts off. We're done. This is embarrassing. Just says the guy in a bright red suit. This is... Oh, you, you are an embarrassment. You... Fuck them. Kill them. You know how to do it. Do it. If I know how to kill them, Just why aren't you it. afraid of me? You should be afraid of me. Why? Why, Billy? 
I could replace you with nothing. You're, I'm not afraid of you. I am you. We're the same. No, we're not the same. We live and die by what we want, and we do it when we want, and how we want it is for us. You're weak. Excuse me? You're weak. You need to kill to feel good. I need to get straight A's this year. And how many worlds will you destroy to do that? Or will I'm you not do it on your any own? More worlds. Oh, really? Yeah. Because you're weak. I'm done destroying. <laughs> you, it's not something you can choose. It's a part of who you are. No, it that's is you. Who you are. I'm not like you. We are the same. We're the same. No. You're sad. And you have nothing to live for except tracking and killing. You don't know what friendship is. You think these things hurt me? They don't. I don't need that, and you don't either. Okay, well, I've destroyed universes, and I've never felt any more fulfilled about it. It's only ever given me small, minor gain, and but I just found out that... you kept doing it. You kept going. I didn't going. know. Here's the proof. I got it. Let me go. And I'll stop. No, you won't stop. You'll continue. No, I'm going to stop. That's not how this works. <laughs> you're, the, you're the great diviner. You are the destroyer of worlds. You will... Say you'll continue. I won't. Why? You weak, weak, frail little boy. I've been hurting people. And while I don't feel much about that, I still have a lot to learn about how to, like, figure out my own emotions. I do know that if it's hurting someone else, I need to stop. You don't want to hurt people. You... So you're saying it's an accident? All these, all these lives you've destroyed, it was just an accident? It's not some a choice? Them. Some of them were an accident. Some what about the others? Choice. You chose to end them because you liked it. You like it who you are I wasn't thinking I was being selfish I didn't have the ability to understand the emotions of others I'm not a killer Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're... If... If you're not a killer, then what am I? I, I you're... We, we are the same. No, you're a killer. And, and, I'm and not a killer. You're just... Privileged. Fortunate enough to have what I don't. Except you're weak and a killer. No! The man in red throws his hands over his head. 
He kneels down on the floor, squeezing at his hair, pulling out clumps. No, no, no! Um, do I still have a knife in my thigh? Indeed you do, Billy Baker. I would imagine that's kind of right where my hand is, right? Can I reach it? Roll your grit difficulty of four. It is right next to you. Seven. You reach for the knife, Billy Baker. You strain as you pull it out of the fleshy part of your leg. (sighs) And then I'm going to try to cut off the leather strap here. Given that you have a knife, I won't make you roll for that. Okay. You cut through the strap quickly as the man in red's bent over, pulling at his hair on the floor. No, 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 you're like me. We're the same. I, I, I am, I am, I'm a killer. I take what I want. I take when I want. I take mine. It's mine. We are the same. I hired you, right? I told you to come find me, right? To ascend. You took my world. You did what I couldn't. I told you to come stop me, right? Yes. So so I could be you. So, so I could be the I could be the diviner. You wanted to take my place. While he's doing that, I wanna be undoing my other strap while he's looking down. Billy Baker's removed his straps. With the TVs somehow disconnected. There's no watchful eye over him. You've stopped me. I'm not gonna destroy anymore. I, know, I want you to destroy. Your, if, if, if you don't destroy, then I cannot be you. I, I, you are the you. You take, and I take from you. So I become. If you stop, you are nothing. You are nothing. You are weak. We are weak. I want to undo my feet straps if he's not looking. His back is turned, unable to face you. Maybe I sent you here to deal with you. What do you do, Billy Baker? I want to run up on him and stab him in the neck. You'll be rolling your fight versus my fight. (laughs) Roll. One. Do you have any tokens? I have one token. I rolled a one. I'd like to use a token to run up on him and stab him in the neck. Would you? Yeah. Billy Baker leaps from this metal slab, grabbing with his left hand the back left of the man in red, as with his right, the knife goes directly into the side of his neck. <laughs> He turns to face you, Billy, blood running down, his undershirt matching his overcoat. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a killer. I'm not a killer. I stab him again. As his body falls to the floor, blood 
flowing into the concrete around him. A conveniently located drain, most likely originally to be used for yourself, takes the flow of the blood, pushing it to who knows where. His skin goes white. You're left with a knife in your hand. Blood on your fingers. Billy Baker, roll your brains. Difficulty of five. Five. That name. It hits you. You are Lucas Jenkins. You were. Maybe this is who you were to become. I want to look at all the TVs. I'm not a killer. That was the last, that was the first one and the last one. And I'm going to help you get out. And then you can do whatever you want with me. I deserve it. I'll come find you. I'm not a killer. Billy Baker says to himself reassuringly as he leaves this place. School starts next week. Who knows if he'll ever tell anyone of what's transpired here. Surely his friends are looking for him. We'll get to that later. But for now, something completely different. Uh, well, welcome, everyone, uh, to this um, special council meeting. I am uh, Randy Evelyn. Uh, let the record show it's 7 p.m. We'll be starting tonight's uh, mayoral debate. First one here in Colock. Uh, let me just go through the, for, for the record, the odds and ends that we kind of have to get started here, as you all know. Um, as I said, I am Randy Evelyn, your council president. And uh, joining me are council members uh, Kelly Hadley and um, Vice President, of course, Dr. Wallace Ronnie. Uh, thank you both for attending. Uh, let the record show, not attending is Gabby Bobby, Tara Jewell, Lauren Hillary, Aaron Cedar, Odell Tristan, uh, Brooke Greer. Unfortunately, they will not be making it tonight. Um, and joining us as our candidates, I guess, that you are our candidates, obviously, is Mallory Jenkins. That's, we're, we don't, this, we're just going through for the record who's in attendance. The floor will be opened momentarily. Uh, Colm O'Shognassi? Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy. I'm so sorry. So sorry about that. And uh, Kelvin Lunt? Great to have you. And um, we do have another individual here who's claiming to be an advisor for a campaign, a campaign manager. Yes, and a future sheriff. That's Potentially, we haven't really like worked out the details, but. Future sheriff. Would you like to state your name for the record, please? Uh, Laura Bet Benvolio. Laura Benvolio. Yeah. She's Italian. Okay, great. Um, well, at this time, I would like. Uh, to move on to our second item. There is no other uh, council agenda items that will be dealt with tonight. This is purely for a chance to you to talk to the mayors as people are headed to the ballot office uh, today. So please, uh, I guess, um, welcome Mallory Jenkins to have an opening statement. Uh, hi everyone, how's it going? Um, my name is Mallory Jenkins. Um, 
This isn't something that I call myself, but some of you may know me as the hero of Kolok. Uh, after saving 18 people from a lake, um, you also, thank you, um, you might know me uh, as the son of uh, Merle Jenkins, who tragically uh, died here not too long ago. He's, that's my dad. He's dead now. Um, I just, I've prepared a few words, and they're really, they're from the heart, and I, I, I just, I'll, I'll get started. Four score and some number of years ago, some dudes in Washington brought forth in this state a new town called Kolok, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that people just want to, like, have a chill time and stuff. And maybe go hiking or, or swim in the lake or whatever. Now we're engaged in a great shitstorm of fra- in a great um, mess of fracking and drugs and stuff. Testing whether that town or any town so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that mess. Where my father, the father of the hero of Kolok, who saved 18 people from the lake, met his untimely end. We've come to decide who should run this town. Me, a hero, or someone like the fake evangelist, Colmo Shaughnessy, who I once saw stealing from the collection plate at church. It, um... It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, but in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave man, my father, who is now dead, has uh, consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. It is for us, the living, unlike my dead dad, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which he who was unfairly taken here has so nobly advanced. It is rather for us, dedicated to... The the task re- to be dedicated to the task remaining before us. That from uh, my father's legacy, we take increased devotion to that cause for which he gave his life full measure of, uh, last full measure of devotion. That we have, uh, that, that, we have re- re- that we resolve that my dead dad shall not have died in vain. That this town of Kolak, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom from fracking and hallucinations or whatever, and that the town of Kolok, of the people of Kolok, by the people of Kolok, for the people of Kolok, shall not perish from the earth like my dad. Thank you. You suck! Um, Rebecca, thank you, young Mr. Jenkins. That was enlightening. And thank you so much for those signs you've been placing around town with your campaign slogan, No More Dead Dads in 1991. We don't want that. No no dead dads in 91 or in the future, mind you. Yeah. As far as we can prevent. People do die sometimes of natural causes. Not like someone that was shot. You get it. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, Colm, if you don't mind, uh, sharing your opening thoughts. I'm Colmo Shaughnessy. I moved here a few years ago, mostly because I got the message that this was a religious town of good moral strength. And I see the people who have shown up today to show this moral strength and back all of their fellow townspeople in making this a better place to live. Now, we've had some problems recently. Some of them seem to have been evil in its regard, as people have seen things that should not have been seen. So obviously there are things that need to be fixed. And I'm here to help you fix them. I believe some of the sources could be found in certain large corporations which have decided to not support this community anymore. They decided to take their money <clears throat> and leave you to fend at the same time as they do things which cause irreparable harm to the nature in this area. Like stealing a <laughs> question plate. Sorry. So, what I propose is with your help, if you elect me mayor, 
Not only will I help stop this evil from threatening you and your well-being, I have ideas to bring art and craftsmen into this area and help promote those here who wish to do so to actually have a living wage. Thank you very much. Well said. Thank you. Really well said. Um, and Mr. Jenkins, I'd like to remind you, um, as I'm sure you're aware, after the incident that took place at the last public council meeting, right. we have decided that there will be no officer present tonight, but you can still be removed if we deem your behavior inappropriate. What was inappropriate? Just please let everyone have a chance to speak. Well, I'm not allowed to cough. I, I was coughing and I'm not allowed to cough. Is that against the council rules? Mr. Lund. Mallory. Mr. Lund. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, haven't worn this shirt in a while. <laughs> a little small. Um, uh, good evening, uh, people of Kolak. Um, you may not know me, but I know you. You may not notice me in the background, but I notice you. When I see, when I see you, I see the dedication and verve that helped make Kolak the marvel that it is today. I see the sincerity and heart that makes people want to live here for generations. And I see the senseless grief and frustration that is also gripping this town. I've felt it firsthand, and frankly, I'm sick of it. I am here stepping out of the background so I can step up and do something about what is happening to this town. Yeah. yeah. What, what you are seeing in our town right now are the consequences of a council putting corporate interests before the needs of its people. This is not about a difference in political ideology. This is about a town council that is willfully abandoning the democratic process for political and financial gain. This is corruption, plain and simple, and the only way to deal with corruption is to cut it out. One hundred and thirty-six days ago, I lost my partner, um, my best friend, in a car accident. Um, a drunk driver spun out and, and T-boned us on the highway um, right into the driver's side. AJ was driving. Um, I thought my life was over. I thought I, I couldn't go a single day without visiting, visiting AJ's grave. Um, I even started working as the groundskeeper at Colic Cemetery just so I could be close to him. I didn't speak to another person for nearly a month. Um, grief made me shut down. It made me give up. Um, I had no fight left in me. But what I learned day in and day out watching people bury their loved ones is that we can't undo the grief that's been done to us, but if we work together, we can prevent the grief that's still coming for us. And I realized that I got my fight back. And it's time that this town got its fight back. Yeah. Yeah. Citizens of Kolok, our town is changing whether we like it or not, and we need to step out of the background and step up so we can take control of our town's destiny. And as your mayor, I'm going to make that happen. Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Lunt, I, I would like to state for the record and let, let the record show that uh, the council called you here today uh, because you voted for this. Um, that's, you know, following the law and what we're supposed to do. And we've called this meeting today to give you all a chance to hear from these candidates. Before we open the floor, I would like to ask my fellow council members if they have any questions for our candidates before we open it up to the general public. Yes, hi, uh, Kelly, Kelly Hadley here. Um, you know, I've been living in this town for a long time, my entire life. Um, I've helped many of you heal as, you know, the owner of Healing Spirits here and done readings for you, helped you through some tough times. Um, and I feel quite taken aback by some of the words that uh, Kelvin here had to say. Uh, but, 
you know, I would like to know how do you propose that we bring more jobs than to Colac and give the people here employment opportunities and, and good life well-being. Um, are you making the uh, assessment that uh, the way the status quo is right now is working? Yes. Let that be a lesson for you people. Which uh, K K Kelly, K Kelly Kelly Hadley Kelly. thinks that the status quo is working. Is the status quo working for any of you guys? No. no. Well, that's uh, something I think you should take into account. I, I hear you and I, I feel, you know, that the energy that you're exuding here. You don't you have to feel anything. These are people that have real concerns that have been talking to you people and trying to make their voices heard and you people haven't listened to them. And, and that's all I have to say about it. It's not right. Uh, would, would anyone else uh, like to answer the question that she asked without hyperbole? Just answer yes, the question. Well, so, uh, sorry, uh, Mallory Jenkins here. Um, so uh, you mentioned bringing jobs mm -hmm. into Colac. As many of you know, uh, I used to work at the Taco Bell Express uh, and, until I found a higher calling. Fan of, of tacos, I see. Um, but I, I, I left that job, and you know why? Because I think that the most important thing is supporting small businesses, for instance, local diners yes. and yes. other businesses that are not corporate uh, monsters um, because corporations are bad well yeah. that's, that's, yes that's, that's that's your answer for jobs yes so is corporations are bad yeah that includes then supporting my business yeah but yes and your business is important even though it's kind of nonsense Which <laughs> pull this bad no. juju just out of the uh, as I've already area. said I do have a plan to help all of you find work through your own interests, your own merits, and to help bring the tourism back until we can get the winery back up on its feet after we deal with this terrible problem caused by this corporation, which has put all of you in such dire straits. Uh, oh, uh, I, um, it just came to mind that, uh, you know, he's talking about uh, supporting tourism, but he actually recently fired many people from his winery. So just so you know, um, just a, clearly- As, as a point, I don't own the winery, so Mr. I'm Jenkins, not he sure doesn't what, own what the he's thinking. Well, but the winery that he, he fired, some he, people he were fired. He works as a glass blower right? at the winery. It doesn't matter. I make all those wonderful supports, artistic crafts and bottles, which sell to the tourists and you've all seen. And that's why I would like to help others the, find an easier way to make a living than suckling at the corporate teeth. The problem is a lot bigger, though, than uh, uh, whether or not the winery is going to inject more money into our tourism bureau, and that's what's going to save us. The problem is bigger than that. We are suffering under one of the worst droughts in the history of this town. Uh, there are innovations that we can easily do if we put some of the highly skilled engineers and biologists that are currently out of work right now, if we get them uh, into the driver's seat, we give them a job, we give them uh, a path to which they can use their skills to bring in new water and new irrigation systems, you know, that's something we could do tomorrow. And a uh, question for me as your council president, uh, where do you see those funds coming from? Uh, the, the city is tapped. Uh, it, you know what? We're going to figure it out. Uh, if we put our mind to it, we can absolutely make it happen. That There's going to be uh, uh, some things that we might have to rearrange. I mean, we're in a town of crisis right now. We're in a crisis point, and you know, we can't sit around and acting like there's going to be an easy solution to this. I wish that I could sit here in front of you guys and say, "Hey, I got a, a magic wand, and it's gonna, and it's gonna, uh, wait. I'm gonna wave it, and then everyone's gonna be happy." I don't have that. And I don't think that solutions are going to be easy. But I think that if we work together as a town, we can make it happen. Um, um, don't you think it might be a little bit better to work with the council? I don't, I, 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 I'll let the record show I, I do not have a magic wand. But you said the town can get you one. No, I, that was a, a, a metaphor. This guy's claiming to be a wizard. Let that be put that on the if, record if as well. If you need magic, at, at no I, point I, did I did I ever claim to be a wizard. He uh, did claim to be a wizard. Quiet, he said please, a magic quiet, wand. At point of order, uh, Mr. Lund. Um, if you say that it's so important for all of us to work together and that we are, you know, a town and we should be working together, uh, wouldn't it be a little bit better to form a good relationship with the council? 
you know, to try and help solve these problems? It's not like we've been just sitting here on our hands not thinking about trying to fix all this. Well, that certainly didn't happen when you allowed the government to start fracking without listening to the outcries of the town. Yeah. And I said about the fracking. And I also said about the fracking. Mallory. Calm down. We're going to take a quick uh, recess, and when we come back, we will hear from those in the town um, who have questions for our candidates. So just hold tight. We'll be back momentarily. Hi, I'm Alex Neat. I'm the Colot composer, and I'm currently releasing pieces of the soundtrack on alexneat.bandcamp.com, which I'm sure the mods will post in the chat. Once everything's done, it'll be available on all major digital platforms. Enjoy the rest of the show, and thank you. What is rolling me? Action! Hi, my name is Mallory Jenkins. You might know me from when, um, from when my dad was shot. Can we? Okay, uh, yeah, how do we uh, start uh, over? Ding. Hi, I'm Mallory Jenkins, and my dad... Hi, I'm Mallory Jenkins, and you know what sucks? This place. Um, so as mayor, I will make sure that we get to the bottom of what's been causing the problems in Cola. That's what, that's what everyone's saying, is it's the fracking. What else does a mayor do? Um, well, they really... Okay, are we, is this better? So in Cola, uh, there's a council. I'm told. My dad was on it. And they do a lot of secret stuff, I think, because they don't tell me anything. The cool. transparency, if you were the mayor, you would tell everyone everything. Yes. If I was the mayor, I would tell you everything. Should we really tell everyone everything? I mean... Okay, well, I mean, we're going to leave out the part about the power. And, and so I'll tell you the things that you need to hear, and I'll keep everything oh. else to oh, myself. Oh, uh, because not everything is good to hear, because some of it's fuck. Anything. I thought she was your campaign manager. Well, she's supposed to be my campaign. Didn't do anything, you know, someone else. And and that's kind of what we were talking about just now. So vote Mallory for mayor, because if my name was in Spanish, it already kind of says Mayory. I don't mean I don't speak Spanish. I just know the two L's. Oh, okay, and okay, okay. Oh, okay. So think of every problem in Colac as a dad, and and I'd like to kill. No. So think of every problem in Kolok as a dead dad, I am going to stop them. No dead dads in 91. So what, what you should focus on is how I can be the mayor.
come you sinner, poor and needy, weak and wounded, sick and sore, Jesus already stands to save you. love Warhammer 40k? Do you love TTRPGs? Then have we got a show for you. The Office. Nope, completely misread that. Grim Dark Dawn. It's a show that melds together the foundation of wargaming with the narrative drive of a role-playing game. Every week we'll explore a space opera that's full of drama, betrayal, and of course, murder. Also heart, but that comes after the murder. Four factions are fighting to control a galaxy, and each of them is led by characters that'll grow and change and maybe die. We've built an extensive metagame where you can join one of the four factions and directly affect the game just by watching. You'll create a character in the world and can even volunteer them for battle, so your personal story will be a part of the main story. This show is for everyone, no matter your experience level with Warhammer. You could have read the entire Black Library or not even know what that is. Check out warhammer.straylogic.com for more info Info, and we hope to see you Thursday nights at 6 p.m. on twitch.tv slash hyperrpg. And remember, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only... Dang it, I forgot again. And again, Colock, Washington, 1991. Thursday, August 8th, 7 p.m. Volunteer Fire Department. Currently, a mayoral candidate is trying to break through all of the ruckus to try to make some sort of impact on the town of Kolok. You get to help us decide through your interactions and your contributions. I think it's best if we just get right to it. Um, so thank you everyone for lining up in an orderly fashion. Very much appreciated. Um, before we go too far, I did have a question come in from another council member. Um, Sorry, it's um, Colm, um, can, can you please uh, tell me what you would do about the squirrel population that has exploded in recent months? It's a good question, and I'm glad you asked. So, with the squirrels coming out as a result of the drought, they're looking for things for, to drink. What we need to do is we have the, the engineers who currently aren't working bring out some of their skills to make some traps to humanely move them elsewhere in the state. We don't need them here. We'll just move them gently. And then if we need to, we'll kill them. Oh, you would kill them? If we need to. Wow. Is that what God that's, would do? If, if, they're, if they're diseased you know, or if they're in any way smart, injured as a result, they're not they just need to be There's put just out. A lot of they're, they're squirrels, deserve, they're not rats. They we, deserve to be here just as much as we do. If, if, them if, we, find, if we find out while we're moving them. Mr. Yeah. I've never heard one talk, but some of them can talk. I have no people that, that have heard talk squirrels before. Can you please roll your charm for me? Difficulty of 12. Uh, let's see what it is. If you are able to roll a 12 or above, then you will win over some people in the audience with this statement. Mm -hmm. Oh no. It's a sliding scale. <laughs> <laughs> I can I'm playing the charm know. correctly. I got a two. <laughs> Despite how some of you may feel, this is something that equally upsets all of you. But before we go too much further into those emotions, I'd like to open it up to the floor. Um, I, I Hi, mean, William. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. Um, uh, please state your last name as well for the for the record. Oh yes, um, William Jones. Hello, everyone. Um, I, I I was curious. I, obviously, um, we we did hear some specifics from uh, from Kelvin specifically about how to help with the situation, and and obviously we've um, we've seen the council's attempt at at helping with the uh, fracking, but. I, I did want to hear some more specifics about specific initiatives to help with our, our current situation beyond fracking and 
killing squirrels. Thank you. Thank you for your question. You, you can have a seat. Well, uh, please, uh, whoever would like to go first, and then we'll just make sure everyone gets a chance to answer. I think that one of the most important resources in this town is you people. Uh, maybe not specific people. You know, I, people in in the audience uh, and and at home. Wow. Uh, I think yeah, I that, heard that too. Uh, I heard that too. Uh, that is not what I meant. But uh, I think that we are a town that is full of so many brilliant people, and I think that uh, we have everything we need to make sense of the senseless chaos that's been happening in this town over the last few weeks and the last few months. If we were to able to set up an independent uh, investigative committee that could look into some of these events, such as the uh, uh, water situation that happened with the mass hallucinations, such as even the uh, mysterious uh, apparent murder of a principal, we might be able to get some answers on this. Look, I, I, I'd i like to interject here if I could, please. Um, but what I would say is it, it, it really sounds like what you're calling for is, is sort of a, a revolution, you know, like a like you want people to rise up and stuff. But I think what we need is we need someone that can work with the council to accomplish things. And mm -hmm. and as someone who had a family member who's tied very closely to the council, he was on it before he was tragically shot right here in a meeting like this one. Um, I, I could be the bridge that links you to the council and, and then we can all find some solutions. With all due respect, I do not believe that uh, giving more power to the people is a particularly revolutionary idea. No, but you're, you're talking about the people rising up and stuff. I don't know, I've heard that before. You're talking about giving the basic human rights class. to people that are- People uh, love revolution! See, you're already inciting some people in the crowd, and I think that's just not helpful. I, I think my, uh, my, my words stand for themselves. Yeah, they do. Given what the yeah. two gentlemen have said, I believe it's obvious that what we need to do is bring the resources we have available in order to help us get out of this through moral leadership so that we're no longer following the will of this corporation which takes its money whenever it feels like it needs to punish us. The council members have been deluded at times by this corporation, and I do not fault them for their failures. This is something that we can work past with those on the council who have shown experience and skill, and I believe would be very, very well used to help bring the people back from this horrible thing to make our lives better, and I think it would start if I was able to discuss with the council about imposing a new tax upon the land use uh, of this corporation. Wow, wow, sounds like he wants to take more of your money, geez. I said this corporation, obviously, unless you own this corporation, it will not affect you. There's these large bank accounts uh, that they bring in from out of state. I heard ta I heard more taxes, I heard a new tax. Did anyone else hear a new tax okay, in the right, audience? Right. I heard a new tax. Mr. Jenkins, young, th thank you. Let's go ahead and open it up to the next question. All right. I'm sorry, but who gives a shit about squirrels when people's livelihoods are at stake? I mean, my first question. Oh, is that language to, uh, yeah. to uh, Anyways, my question for all of you, what is at least your first step in fixing this shit show? I'm sorry, could you be more specific about the shit show? I can, um, I, there's a lot. I can address that. I'm not confused and, and, and by the term of shit show. From can using I like language? you, you're a hero, but still need a little more experience in life before you're Okay, ready. let's, I, look, that, I, I get it, you're, you think you're more experienced than I am, and, and, and look, I, I think that, I think that new blood is always good in the government, that, you know, there's people that have been sitting in government for years and years, and, and this is what it's led to, so a, a new face, someone that really cares uh, about this town, um, and the people in it uh, could really help that. get stuff That's done. Understand. I was in the military for No, my dad five years. cared very Trust much me. before he was murdered here. Yeah, we, we, we all care. Yeah. We were there. Look, right. This Look. town needs more than just new faces. It needs action. And my first action to help correct this bleep show uh, is that we need to immediately cease all fracking uh, by yeah, the government in that. That's, thank and you. And then immediately... Immediately, we need to set up an independent council that is going to investigate the occurrences that happened 
uh, at that uh, 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 water source uh, so that we can make sure that this stops happening and that it'll never happen again. I it's not that complicated. I need to say something, okay? Now he, earlier, uh, Mr. Lunt was, he was talking about how uh, he doesn't know where money is coming from and what I heard is that he wants to stop a business venture that has brought jobs to the town Okay, no one's saying the fracking is good, but it could be done in a safer way that generates money for the town instead of whatever plans he has that he definitely can't pay for. Thank you. Show of hands, who here works at the fracking plant? Who here works at the fracking plant? Anybody? Yeah, that's what I imagined. Obviously, because it hasn't brought jobs to this town. It hasn't done the good that it promised. Obviously, We're not here to debate. outsourcing. We're not here to debate. And I would stop the outsourcing. Yeah. The obviously, this government hiring run, local people. Obviously, this government-run fracking needs to be stopped while our health is da in danger. Our health is bad under the fracking. Exactly. That's why it needs to be stopped until it can be fixed. As such, I, I, right, right, which is basically what I said. It is, said. It is going like to, to be fixed that by being stopped, said. sir. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be stopped right. and then cleaned it's up. This is not completely gone, I, I, I as we know. I would like to interject here that uh, I, I understand that people might be upset, um, but I, I, for one, uh, agree with Calm in that that the steps had to be taken. Synchronity pulled their funding. Had we not made this deal, all of you would be in grave more danger, and, and your jobs and, and your livelihood. Uh, would be far different. We we had to accept the deal from the government. We we had no other options. It's not our fault that Synchronity pulled out of the funding for for the town. That, that was an agreement that was made years ago. With all due respect to the to the right. council president, well, they may have been in dire straits to get money, and they made a bad deal with the government. It is our responsibility to make sure that we take care of ourselves, and by stopping this external company being run by the government to endanger our lives through fracking and then cleaning up the mess that they've made without having this corporation come in and do whatever they did which then infected all the nature around here causing this drought. That way we will ensure our safety and by this new funding that I was suggesting get applied to these large corporations, I know that we can make grants to small businesses in the area so they can expand and improve their production and make new revenue and new attractions for the tourism to come back, especially once we get this under control. Okay, can, 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 are we affecting the weather? I, can we? Us? That's us, right? Okay. Yeah. Can, can we please um, move on to the next question? I, I would like to remind everyone, refrain from using... Um, the shit word. Yes, the uh, curse words. This, this is a public council meeting. Um, and, and state your name first and last for the record. Uh, thank you. Uh, hi, Sadie Nolan, a uh, longtime listener, first time caller. <laughs> Meaning I'm like, my first time here. Oh, it's uh, like the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, it's the first time getting the politics here. Yeah, your your question, getting, please. Kind of red. Oh, sorry. Uh, before I ask my question, I just want to say I'm so sorry for the loss of your father. Thank but you. Remember, I appreciate every that. superhero origin story almost always starts with like a tragic parent backstory so this mm. might just be your hero's journey right, right. You, are, you are not right. helping right now it's oh, very nice no, of you to say okay it's so, very nice of you to say i like your hat oh thank you <laughs> thanks it's vintage so as a, a local artist i'm i'm really all about you know bringing more art to the community how would you feel about going supporting local artists with the new like tourism economy like maybe using art to bring tourism back to the city, you know, that'd be like totally rad. <laughs> exactly, yeah. as I've said, by providing these grants through the fines and the taxes proposed on these corporations that are causing problems, we'll be able to give money to local artists to set up their businesses, to do their art and bring in more tourism and more money to the community and put people to work. Exactly. Look, okay. look at I'm In your opening statement, you said that you were going to bring in more arts and craftsmen. I heard that, yeah. Right. I said yeah. we can support more arts and craftsmen. I believe that the words that you used were bring in, which to me sounds yeah. like and, and, more outsourcing. And, and I would support, and, and, and I would support and local artists. And absolutely unethical, and, I, and we shouldn't do it. We have enough and I would, and I would people support like local Sadie artists. in Woo! this town that we can support. I do have a gallery going on at uh, Coloxx Comics, and I've not seen you. Oh, no, but I, was, I will be there tomorrow. 
Thank okay. yes. I will make a, a point coming to. No, he won't. Okay. He doesn't care. I just, you know, I just feel like if we had more support from. I care. People like you, then maybe you know we would be in this mess in the first place. Thank you for your question. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Look, I love so, comics, by the way. I'm just point, putting that out there, so I'll definitely see you later. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, also, if you could please refrain from flirting from the bench, that would be. What? I'm not. I'm sorry. What? That's so dumb. What you said. So, can we just move on? Yes. Please continue. Hi. Um. My name is Liz Peters. I work at. Hi, the- Liz. Hi. So I work at the vet clinic in town, and something the candidates and the squirrel killer may not have thought about is the impact on the animals. Like the thing that happened at the lake, has anyone thought about the fish? How does it affect the fish? And and look, while I was in the water saving 18 people, I saw those fish, and they were struggling, and, and my heart hurt for all of the fish in that water, and if I could have grabbed Every single one of those fish and transport them to better water. I to- I would have. Uh, I definitely would have. Mr. Jenkins, yeah. please roll your charm for me. Difficulty of <laughs> ten. <laughs> you have seven what? or no? Sorry, three tokens available. I rolled a seven, and I will add three. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> no one finds this story unbelievable. It's unfortunately quite gripping. And and those and those fish, like each and every one of them, would have been like like a like a son or a daughter to me. And and I I care so deeply about them. I really do. I, I have one more question, actually. So working at the vet clinic. Um, I get so many animals that come in that are injured from getting hit by cars or getting caught in traps. And I think they, especially dogs, they need a safe place to play and for owners. And I've been petitioning so often and like so many times to get just a damn dog park. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but there has been uh, an epidemic of this council for ignoring the people that are coming here and stating their needs plainly. And that's gotta stop. Where do you propose yeah. we get funding for programs like this? There no, are you ways that fence. you can go about it. There are ways that you can move money around. I'm sure you guys are grossly overpaid. We haven't gotten a uh, so- yeah. 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 What? 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 Me personally, I'm I am willing to do this for free part time. Thank you. I'm willing to do it. Yeah. Thank you. For the because animals. what's Thanks. most important to me is you people. Uh, I mean, all you, I didn't. I, you know what I mean. Let, let the record show that. Yeah, he, I, I heard it again. I know you heard it again too out there, sir. Let, I, let I the also record heard that. please show that no council members receive any sort of funding uh, from the town. This is a volunteer position, but the mayoral position will not be. Ooh, interesting. So, what happens to the salary that you're going to get? Is that going to uh, go to the town? You and actually, if it fits to fund your dog park, I'd use it to fund your dog park. Thank you. And thank you for the water. Hmm? And clean the water and save the right squirrels. There. So the money and from your your salary just goes directly to the dog park, not to any of the other issues that someone might bring to the floor. What about repairs to the school? Uh, there are there's a lot of ways that we can secure this money that's necessary. You, I think that all one you of do the, is talk, it, Mr. 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 Mon, Mr. Mon, all you do is just bring up. We need to change this. We'll figure out what we're going to do about it by all of us working together. And you're not offering any solutions except for the pittance that you're going to make as mayor. Um, The fundamental flaw in our town's economy is that it was formed around the assumption that we would always have a giant corporation having our backs. Our town grew from that assumption. And now that that's gone, we have nothing to support. So now what we need to do is we need to do what every other town in America does, which is figure out how we are going to... There's the figure out the... again. Just saying. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. I'm, I, I would what? love to hear how a 16-year-old is going to figure it out, but I won't. Well, hey, who's going to pay all, your salaries? Where's that money coming I'm 19. from? I don't need a salary to do this. I would say the best way we could fund a dog park would be to 
get the word. dog owners in town to agree to let their animals pose for a calendar, which then we could sell, and that money would go directly to the park and benefit the animals themselves. How is that any different just than just taxing everyone? How are we going to pay the photographer? Yeah. I, I believe we have some artists here who are quite willing to be well, able to. Are they to, going to be paid with exposure? To buy the, no. Obviously, and the money brought in from the, the calendar calendars. would be able to pay for the expenses to generate. Well, the Just like the printing costs I think would be. Mm. There, there are, look, there are plenty of people in this town that I'm sure would, would love to volunteer their time, including myself, to actually physically themselves make the dog park. Now, I am used to working on a very low budget, as many of you know. As a former Taco Bell employee, I I did not make very much money, and and I actually have the experience to to work within those constraints, um, and I know that I would personally be willing to devote my time to building that that dog park. Is this while you're being mayor? Yes. Is this, I don't make can, them. Can sir. we please refrain from using foul language? Uh, I, I'd like swear. to I'd like to move on to the next one. Thank you so swear. much. Thank I just you. have one question for you. Shouldn't put that garbage in your Mr. Jenkins. Uh, it was if you're going to be making this dog park, are you going to be assuaging your duties as mayor to take care of other issues? Because I, I don't think you have an infinite amount of time. No, but this would be done in my own time, out of the goodness of my own heart. The same goodness that saved 18 people from the lake. Thank you. Can I add one thing before we get there? I'm not trying to run so that I can sit around and talk to you guys about what can't be done. I'm here to do the opposite of that. I, I would like the record to show that we've spent more time on the issue of the dog park than any other brought forward today. It is important. It is important. It's very important. They're, they're, they're kind of a gift to us all. I'll just work at the. I work at the park. You can just bring your dog. Just bring your dog. Uh, you can also bring him to the cemetery. You know what? That's wow. that's what I do. Whoa. You know what? This guy wants you to kill the dog. No, bring no, him no. to the cemetery. No, no. There are sections. There are sections wow. of the cemetery that have no graves in them yet. Oh. Who could make that be part wow. of the dog park? That's not what I heard. That's not dark. You guys could come visit your loved ones. That's not what I dogs. heard. I find that very disrespectful. What? I I find that very disrespectful to those of us. In this town, who have died, be them. Also, because it's those who aren't no, dead, and their memories yes, the need there. to also be considered. Mr. My, my loved one is buried there, and if I, he got to see lovely dogs running around all day playing, I would consider that a victory. Can, can we please? They wouldn't be shitting on can, the headstones. Can we please? Sorry, I mean, they, they would be, be their dogs. They wouldn't they be pooping on the where headstones. They are. Can, can we please point out? Can we please move forward from the, the, the dog, the dog yeah. park yeah. issue? The, the, the elderly gentleman in the front would like to ask a question. Yes, my name is Tim Saso. Hey, Tim Hi, Saso. Hi, Tim. Hi. Hello, I'm a retired post office worker, a uh, mailman to be exact. Mm -hmm. uh, just want to know if there's any plans to uh, expand on the senior services in the town of Colock. Yes. That's a good question. That is a very good question. Um, Put your money towards that instead of the dog park? I'm glad you asked that question, Tim. I will look into this. Unfortunately, I am not of a senior status, so I'm unaware of your current situations, but I would love to sit down and talk with you to find out what issues you're currently having in order to bring about whatever change is needed to make it better for you and the other senior citizens in this town. It sounds like he's saying that he can't relate, and I know that, that one of the most important things is obviously making sure that you have affordable access to medicine and, and the things that you need and, and, and comfort, and I would be willing to, uh, to set aside a certain portion of the budget to make sure that we take care of our senior citizens who have built this town into what it is. I think one Thank of the you. most important things is that we assess the needs accurately. And I think one thing that's clear is that uh, none of us are really going to be clear on what exactly uh, people of your age are going to need. So how about it was this? Just clear. We bring everyone that is of senior citizen age together and we have a town forum with them so that they can discuss what matters are most important to them and how we can most adequately uh, 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 cater to them. We usually just call those council meetings. You're at one. Yeah, so. yeah, but how many? How many? But but how many senior citizens are in the audience? Um, well, we can we can establish its own. No. It, Currently, by the town council, you're saying your needs are not being met. Oh, no, there's no free shuttle to the church. There's no uh, free dentist. That will definitely make sure that you get a shuttle to the church. 
right on his way to kill the squirrel. squirrel. If I have to drive, if I have to drive you there myself, there are actually already a lot of. Um, uh, 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 never mind. I, I, never mind. I, I had a wow. had a had a little brain fart. Uh, speak, <laughs> I have another question that came in from a council member for uh, I believe it's Kelvin. Um, this is just for you, Kelvin. Can you please um, talk about how you might reduce the water bills in the town? Given that water has become such a valuable resource. I'm sorry, what? Water has become um, an extremely yes. valuable resource. And obviously, you, as has been stated here, people believe there's an issue with that. So how would you go about keeping those water bills affordable? Fun Bun needs his water. It looks like he needs you to re-answer the question. No, uh, I, 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 I do have an answer to that, to be honest. Um, we'll talk it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 you're talking about how are we going to lower people's water bills, Correct. essentially. Um, frankly, right now, I think you guys are paying way too much for your water, uh, especially considering the fact that it's poisoned right now. so how are you going to lower We have to import water to the diner to even cook anything. And that is, that is unconscionable. You should be able to use the water that is coming right out of your tap, and I believe that we can reorganize the budget to make sure that we could have at least a 30% decrease in your water bill. Oh, that's a magic that's number. A, that is a large number, yeah. Did you get that wand you were looking uh, the for? The question was for him. The, the floor is this. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to move along to the next question. It's such an enlightening experience. Uh, uh, my, my name is uh, Sebastian Burr. I work as a mortician's assistant. Hi, Sebastian. Uh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi how doing? What's going on? Uh, yeah, Mr. Lunt, uh, your, your, your story moved me. Um, I, I happen to work on AJ at, at the Morgan, and so it, I just I, I understand how, what, you, what you mean. And uh, so uh, you, uh, you, you, you have my vote. Um, that doesn't sound like a question. Sorry, no, I didn't sorry, mean to sorry. My, you. my question is actually for for all candidates. Uh, uh, how closely will you be working with the council? Uh, and uh, uh, if any uh, exact changes, please uh, uh, let let us know. Um, if you could. That's a good question. Yes, please what? let us know how much you plan on working with us to solve these issues. As I mentioned before, I I believe that of the of the three people up here, uh, I'm probably the most equipped to to be a bridge from the people to the council as someone that, that has been very close to them uh, in recent years. Well, my father, of course, yes, was on the council. Yes, your father, and you referenced his legacy in your opening statement yes. that didn't really address what that legacy was. Well, as you know, I mean, of... We don't of, know, that's why we're asking. Well, right, but so you need to let me get there because I'm talking, and so when I'm talking, you don't talk, you know what I mean? Oh. So oh. what I'm trying to say is... No, look, what I'm trying to say is... My, as, as everyone knows... So we got to let him Wait, right, point of order, please, let's... let's Please, we'll, we'll try to let him get through this. What you, what, okay, I don't like your tone either, but that's fine. What I'm trying, my father, as you know, uh, devoted his life to this town. He was the principal of the school and uh, worked for uh, a large part of his adult life on the council, trying to make sure that everyone uh, got a good education. And so in, in the spirit of what, what he did for this town, uh, I too would devote myself Holy to making sure that everyone got what they needed, education or otherwise. Thank you. And would you be more forthcoming about your dealings with the town council and what's going on in the town and well, how your previous leadership's been? Well, if you uh, if you did see my campaign video, which was um, released at the local news station, um, I plan on telling you uh, everything that you need to know. Thank you. To answer, to answer your question, I, I, can we please keep the questions uh, in line too? I, I understand there's that you're mic. you're here as press, but th there's a lot of people that want the floor. Yes, Mr. Shanahan. Uh, yes, yes, go ahead. To answer your question, yes. Obviously, we can't have someone come in and dismantle the entire existing government because how else would you know what's currently going on and what's wrong in the books? So, with me as mayor, my moral oversight would allow me to keep mistakes from being made, but at the same time leveraging the experience of the council and their knowledge of the bureaucracy that is currently going on that's causing the problem so that we can fix it so everyone's lives can be made better. I, the church has always been forthcoming, right? I do, I do just want to interject that, that he keeps talking about moral things, ruling everything in the law, and as we know, he's, he's very involved in the church, and, and that's wonderful, 
Um, but you know, are you there's having a, a problem with people in town having a moral guidance? No, but I think that there's. I find be everyone a... here is a wonderful community. Yeah, but Kolak doesn't need a pope. That's true, and yeah. Hey, she's right, though. That's true. What she said is what I was going to say. Yes. Um, I also noticed that you have ten fingers. Yes. How long have you been in town? I've lived here for eight years. Okay. Yeah, stop conflating moral strength with... It'd be nice to have presence. somebody, you know... I'm not speaking of religious presence being shoved down anyone's throat. This is still America. It is still freedom of religion. I think you guys need more moral fiber. Maybe we can start taxing the church. As... Yeah. I believe that goes against the law, but it is an interesting prospect. It's not a bad idea. I, I yeah, support that idea. I believe that was <laughs> one of the foundations of the nonprofit corporations that were set up. Also, the Senate of Corporation? Church and state, but That's what I was getting at. Yes, you put it more, more uh, but, well than I could. Thank you. As the founder of our town was a very moral individual, I feel that that moral guidance needs to be brought back to help stop these problems which have corrupted this town since. Here, our here. town? Yes. Our town. Yes. Yes, this? all of us who have been here for a generation. Correct. Yes. We're, we're not going to do that. Uh, That's my response. Um, Calvin, it's, it's been a while since you responded. I yeah, um, if you're asking me how much I'm going to work with the town council to uh, solve issues, uh, my answer is this. I will be working with the town council, uh, but not as much as I am working with you guys. Because that's what's been missing in this town. You know, when, when you guys allowed the government to come in and start fracking, there were visible outcries from all over this town. And you guys went on with it. You didn't even have a hearing. You didn't have a referendum. You didn't have anything. And you should be ashamed of yourselves because that's not democracy. That's not the democratic process. That's not why we're here. What was your solution again? I was waiting for a solution. Yeah. No, it's great to yell about problems. Maybe our solution is to get rid of you people. Wow. Maybe we don't need a city council. Maybe we don't need more bureaucracy. Maybe we just need but, to hear on, from on. what these people hold need. Hold on. I'd really like to hear you talking about the democratic process, about a town council who's trying to represent... A town council that does not that represent sounds... the needs of its people. Oh, and, I'm sorry. Uh, the you want to be king of this? New... You want to be king of you, are, you people are already king by committee. As the town Said has voted, the new system will be put in place so we can keep the mayor in check and the... The people can keep us in check. It, it's the a, people have tried to keep you in check and failed. And that's why we're having this failed. mayoral. He just said you guys failed. I'm just pointing that out as well. That's can we, can, we're thank you election. so much. Thank, thank, thank you. you so much thank for your you. question. Um, I, 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 I believe just, the term you were looking for was dictator, by the way. King works, too. Uh, communist dictator, I think, is what you're looking for. All right, uh, okay, okay, all right. Um, uh, please. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm, uh, everyone knows who's Maxi. What's up, Maxie? Uh, okay. So I just wanted to start by saying thanks for the chili. It was, it was great. It's great. Thank you. 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 Th thank you so much, Honey Bee Cafe, for yeah. providing the food for tonight. Thank you. The cornbread was made sweet meats bakery. Don't forget. Oh, it's great. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So uh, I did have a couple of questions, but my main one, I guess it's for everybody, but yeah, I guess I'll focus more on you. It's... Uh, why are you doing this? Why do you want to be mayor? I mean, what do you see yourself doing for this town? I mean, anyone that went to school with you knows you kind of suck. What do you? Okay, that's not that's not nice to say. I, I you know, that's just. That's I'll repeat an, it for the record. It's really rude. The, I mean, it's on record now. There's camera. Yeah, we, we have it on record. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Uh, Maxie. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Everyone just, calls me Maxie. Right, Maxie. but your last name? Your last name? Uh, Callum. All right. Oh, I was just wondering. Well, I, okay, I mean, we did stop. did did Spider Man want to have to rise up and be a hero? Are, are I don't. You when comparing yourself to a fictional superhero. No, again? what I'm telling you is that the hero's journey doesn't always begin voluntarily. Okay. Now, I I I felt 
that when my father, who tragically died here at one of these meetings, All right. died. Wait, wait, did he? I, oh, I yeah. Did he? Yes. Now, now oh, I, I, I felt that it was my duty to stand up and do what was right, even though I, I, I'm just letting you all know because I, I feel that being 100% transparent is important. I don't even really want to be mayor. I just think that sometimes uh, when, when you're called to action to, to do what is right, you, you have to uh, answer that call. Thank you. Great power comes great yeah. responsibility. Thank you. you know. Yes. She knows. Thank you. What? Thank you. Was that, that question was directed for Mr. Jenkins? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't really have one for everybody else, but... Uh, oh, oh, you meant something you mentioned earlier. Nobody really addressed the exploding squirrels. What is that? Wait, That's what he said. They were exploding. No, the, 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 no, population, the population, population exploding. exploding. The population is exploding. It, it, as in growth, uh, that's not a literal representation. That is not a literal representation. You know what? That is a load off. I was so worried. Thank it's you. A, it's not a literal representation. Uh, I'm sorry about the stink bomb I left in your locker. That was really not mature of me. I'm sorry. Are there only... Hello, uh, I'm Lizzie Brown. I'm the volunteer coordinator of the uh, Student Parental Alliance of Colac. And uh, I have a question for all of the mayoral candidates. I'm curious uh, what you're planning on doing to ensure the moral integrity and the innocence of our children. Over the last several months, our town has changed so much. And as a member of our Student Parental Teacher Alliance, which includes all of you, as you were all once children, I would assume, you have to be aware that our entire future is dependent on our children. So what are you planning on doing to make sure that they have a healthy and safe future and one full of moral integrity? Yes, Obviously, <laughs> the church's influence to help bring attention to these moral failings can be brought to more children through your program and similar programs which would allow them to do things after school if they wished as well as encourage people to go and follow their religious credence that's an amazing answer thank you I assume you also have answers for that very important question yes um, and I would just like to say that I agree with what he said and I would do it better thank you Wow. I'm made uncomfortable by how you've worded this question. In what way? How do you think I feel you said you people were? And I apologize for that, sir. Yeah. Uh, wow. Because you see, that's... Sometimes sorry that's, is not good enough. That's what I feel like is the difference. Because I feel like when you say morals, you mean your morals and your expectations. Morals and expectations that I do not think most people in the world will live up to if they are being honest with themselves. Yeah. yeah. That's a bit of an assumption on your part. I'm sorry, what? Aren't you doing the same thing by assuming her assumptions? I'm quite familiar with her committee. The church has done a lot for this town over the years. I should know, as my family has lived here for a very long time, and I have seen personally the moral integrity of our town slip and degrade over the last few years and the last few months especially. One could even argue that perhaps our entire situation could have been mitigated if some of us had a little bit more faith in our Lord. No, it can't be argued. Because you're, no. I want everyone to know here that a vote for me as mayor is a vote for a person who will always shape the argument to fit the facts versus shape the facts versus shaping the argument to fit the facts or the, the opposite. Wow. Sounds I believe in objective truth and I don't believe you do. I believe in the objective truth that on? our town needs more morals and we need less of this sinning. All of you are sinners. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Okay. okay, that's... I, 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 what sinning? Specifically, this is such a tangent. I don't well, if you read the Bible, thank you so much for your for your question. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's time that we move on to the next one. Thank you so much for your question. Um, Amen. Read a comment. Uh, what, excuse me, sir. Uh, there's a line. Yeah, I just want to talk about uh, moral integrity. Who gives a fuck? Okay, what we need to talk about 
Okay. You look real punk rock, sir. I don't um, recognize you. You look vaguely familiar, but I just want you to know that you're- Guess what, I recognize you. Uh-huh. I'm Hercules Hunt. Oh, Herc Hunt. Hi. How's it going? Um, who laughed? Excuse me, who are you? I'm Herc you, you Hunt. I, I don't recognize you. You're one of the Hunt boys? Laugh. Come on, everybody hey, laugh. listen, listen. Herc Hunt must be respected. Now just give okay, him the now, floor. Chuckle again, motherfuckers. I swear to God. No. Can you please refrain no. from the foul language? Can you tell sir? them to stop laughing? I don't think there's any chickens in here. Uh, so okay, you, you know what? My cousin got crushed. Okay? And then you lost... That, that was the young individual, Michael Hunt. Mike he was Hunt. injured last week. Mike. Everyone is... Is it Mike Hunt? Mike, Michael was hurt at the Who's late laughing? incident. Trust me, no one is more sad about how Mike Hunt got smashed than I am. <laughs> was that... Were you making a joke? Is that, no, I'm not making a joke. Oh, I'm serious. I know I play Dungeons please. and Dragons with him. Hey, Mallory? Hey, Mallory? Let's, let's include the... Mallory, opinion. how much can you bench? No, that is not... What are we doing? <laughs> Well, do you, do you have a question, sir? Yeah, no, the question is, it's backing off of that. Mike was lost. So I want to know, why do we give a shit about the moral integrity of the kids when we should give a shit about where the fuck they are? Okay, I agree. I agree, and I agree with you. And, and look, I don't give a shit about any of this. I don't give a shit who's the mayor of this shithole. It doesn't matter anyways. So the fact is, there's bigger stuff happening. I just got here, okay? Obviously. And stuff is insane. I, I'm sorry. So who's going to find him? I, I'm huh? sorry. If How did you lose not, him? He is not lost. If your family has not been informed, they should have been. Uh, please pass on this information. This is not a secret. Uh, the, the FBI no, is, is They currently. just took him away. They didn't even tell us As anything. I said, the, FBI, uh, the uh, FBI no is in. Per- excuse me. Excuse me. This is an issue that the council is currently dealing yeah. with. The FBI is currently in custody of yeah. the young, uh, uh, of the young Mr. Hunt. Uh, he has story. been transferred to San Francisco. Why? That, Wait, for medical purposes. For He's medical purposes. They believe the that they have. Yeah, let's talk medicine. about those medical purposes. Wait, Y'all have a nuclear bomb just walking around by the name of Tibby. Where is he, by the way? Why isn't he at the meeting? I got a fucking ass whooping. What do you mean? Bomb. Tibby's no, not no, a Mr. nuclear Tibby. bomb. Tibby's Mr. not a nuclear bomb. No, Mr. 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 Devon is uh, uh, currently under protective care for the right reasons. There's been a lot of... Yeah, he's literally running around crushing. That's why they needed he, to save people from the lake. Oh, the hero. The hero. Did you save? Did you save Mike at all? I tried. Look, you... No one cares more about my cunt than I do, okay? And I'm saying that as a friend of his. I really do mean that. You really gave a shit about him? Yes. Language. Didn't seem like it. It's not... A lot of stuff was happening, okay? It's not as simple as you think it is. Then enlighten us. Before we move forward, I would like the young her cunt to roll a charm of d6, difficulty of 6. And then after that, I would like to roll brains, difficulty of 12, with the d10. Three. The chat does have eight tokens available. Whoa. I'm going to use all of those. For the charm. For the charm. <laughs> so that is a success, young Mr. Hunt, on the charm. You have this room quite captivated by your statements, but your brains... For me, please. That's a difficulty of 12, and I'm only allowing you to roll a 10, which I stated before you rolled, and maybe you should have kept some of those tokens. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <clears throat> Seven. <laughs> That's a failure. You seem to, being so new, be unaware of the current situation where Mr. Devon, though originally accused of being the one who injured your cousin, is also now seen as some sort of a religious figure in the town that's being protected because of his ability to heal others that was seen in the hospital where he went through and healed all of the individuals in the intensive care unit and has become somewhat famous himself. No, no, no. That was But a uh, obviously you don't even know about it, though. Uh, the rest of this room does, but you, being the young idiot from out of town, are completely unaware. But you are quite captivating. There Please was a, continue. There was a lot happening that day. No one really saw what happened to Mike, okay? And then when the dust settled, it was how it was. 
I know what happened to Mike. Um, Mr. Hunt, I'm really sorry for your loss. I can't imagine what you must be going through. It's not. Um, as I stated earlier, He's, I think Mike's not, for the record, are, Mike's not dead. No, Mike Hunt is Mike not Hunt dead. Mike Hunt is not dead. Okay? Very much I, alive. But he is clearly listen, going. How listen, listen, I paraphrase it. I am sorry that you are going through the Mike grieving Hunt process right now. At the hospital, I, I as best I could, and we, we did sent not him to have specialists. The, Mike Hunt is with specialists right now. We He's have specialists all that are already he here that can be here so that we can form an independent committee so that we can assess what is going on here so that we can assess blah, blah, what is going blah, on in our blah, town blah, blah. so that we can assess what happened to your cousin and so that we can see if there is any sort of involvement in extra uh, 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 governmental figures that are coming in here. There's a lot of players going on here, and we got to figure out what's going on with it. Wait, wait, how are you even a specialist, or are you guys? Fr you should ask them. Yes, I don't know. Do That's why I think we need to. He's we with need the specialists. It he's was out of our realm of healing. Even though he helped everyone in the hospital. No, no that no, was a no. different individual. Mr. That's Devin was the one different. who helped. The individuals in the hospital, unfortunately, due to the mass hallucination last week, uh, Mr. Hunt was injured in that hallucination, and we were unable... He was with him, though. He was with him. Mr. Hunt, I feel your pain. I know what it's like to have family separated from you unwantedly. I don't know what this gentleman has had to do with that, but it sounds... With him on that day. It sounds like something... I was busy could have help. been done that wasn't. I was busy helping as many people as I could. Yeah, but not my cousin. But currently it sounds like Michael is getting the attention that he needs in order to return. I don't know if that's guaranteed, sir. It's not. It's not. There's something going on. Uh, please inform your family. Co contact the FBI. They have... Oh, yeah, your, we'd your love cousin. to talk to the, the Council of Kolok more. Yay. No, so FBI, excited. FBI. If you elect me, you can speak to me, and I'll make sure something is done. I can't vote, so I don't really give a fuck about you. Okay, all right. You know, that's enough, no. sir. And please, go by your full name, Hercules, next time. That would be great. And if we could please excuse his swearing, her cunt is clearly hurting right now, and her it's... What? Her cunt. Her cunt is clearly hurting right now. Hey, don't... Mr. Hunt, please have a seat. Please. <laughs> Uh, yes, let's move on. Hi. Yes, uh, Sean North, the firefighter. Uh, Mr. Lunt, I just want to say I'm very sorry for the loss of your partner. I un also understand what it's like to lose someone in a tragic accident, so I empathize with you. Um, I have a question for the candidates. Um, I, I'm all about independence. I moved here when I was a young age, but I've always been looking out for myself, and I feel like Kolok should also be a town that does that. What are some specific steps that you have as examples that Kolok, as a town, can use to be free from financially, to have financial independence from such entities as Synchronity or the government, where we can be independent financially? Uh-oh. Well, specifics. Uh-oh. I'll tell you what it is, and I brought it up earlier. One of the fundamental flaws of how this town was created was that it was built around synchronicity. Uh, that's why it was. That's why when when it pulled its funding from city council, everything went to hell. And that shouldn't have been in place from the start. It shouldn't have been a corporation funding a city council. It should have been a corporation that lived in our town and paid its fair share of taxes, that made sure that it was giving back to the community that it was providing for. Yeah. Nah, I just because these people, their taxes shouldn't go up. They should be paying for it. The synchronicity people. Now, I, I think in this meeting we've we've focused a lot on money, which is is definitely not uh, necessarily my strong suit. If I'm being honest with myself. Um, so you but, don't really want to be mayor. But and listen, I, I I I would appreciate not being interrupted, Miss Hadley. I you, I will give you the floor momentarily. Um, now, I, it's hard. As Mr. Lunt said, we, we have been put in a situation where we were built around a, a giant factory or whatever, and then now that's gone. So who's going to help us? I think that we have to help ourselves. There's a dog park mentioned earlier. There's a lot of natural resources. I think that we need to use what we have around us to, to be independent and, and not worry so much about taxes and, and money and stuff and instead the the grit and other and other stuff 
Mr. That Jenkins, makes, uh, what, did, could you clarify which natural resources are available? Well, like, yeah. like lumber, right? Or uh, like a fence. So our protected you, national forest that's around the town. No, well, there's got to be other trees that aren't necessarily protected. Oh, good. The we air can, quality will go to. Complete. Look, we can do it ourselves, and that's what I'm trying to say, and I think that, sir, that is what you're getting at. As I've stated before, I see you. these, the corporation, Synchronity, has downsized greatly, thus freeing up a large amount of money in their own coffers, which could then be taxed to provide for the resources of the town to build its own community of artists and small businesses so that it can stand on its own and once again not be beholden so, to a single entity. I'm sorry, so you want to... You don't think that taxing them will drive them out completely? We've already been hurting from considering the size of considering the size of their campus. I don't see it something they can pack up and leave in a weekend. Yeah, but if they've got all that extra money, I mean, no, what's this another is something that should be on the the floor? Uh, come on. I, I mean, what what it? They pulled their funding from us. Why not? Well, tell us what is it? We can. Listen, it, this isn't the end. I mean, we're still working with people at Synchronity to try and get them to reinvest in the town. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 if they're I, not I'm going sorry, to be investing I'm, in the town out of principle and out of duty, then they shouldn't be here in the first place. Right. Yeah. 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 Look, I'm, and if, I'm, and if I'm they sorry. leave such a prime piece of real estate, there are other corporations that would be willing to pay Come. Who? Who well, uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I have a, 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 a. I'm sorry to do this like to you, uh, Doctor Ronnie. But but who who are we working with at Synchronity right now? This is information I'd like to know. I, I'm, I, I'm not as sure. the president of this council. If if there is a hand being reached out by Synchronity and, and there is some sort of uh, work being done there, I, I feel like I should know about it. And if this is information that you have, I'd I'd love for you to share. Yeah, no, I'd be willing to talk to you about it. If, you know, behind closed doors. It's not something that can necessarily oh, be oh, This is this is the level of transparency. This is this is the level of transparency they think you deserve. This is the level they think you deserve right here. Thank you. Let's start change today. You tell us right now what is happening in this town. What's happening? With regard to what? With secrecy. He, he's merely stating that there's apparently funding that's coming in, or no, talks of funding, no, but this is not something that's been brought to the council in any way, shape, or form. That's so because they're preliminary. Listen, well, I'm just floating oh, oh, preliminary. Listen, Do I'm doing my best to help bring money back to COLA. Oh, great. Is that a bad Dr. thing? Dr. Ronnie, no, but I, I would suggest bringing that up to the council uh, before... I was, I was going to oh, come to you with oh, Dr. Ronnie, are you? Dr. Ronnie, I, how are you going to pay for it? What are they not going to get by having this deal go forth? What are, what, how are they going to end up paying for it? If the deal falls through? I'd also like to know if, if you are the only individual talking to Synchronity or if there are others as well. Thank you. Are they going to pay for it by having another mass hallucination? Are they going to pay for it by having more squirrel attacks? How are they going to end up paying for it? How will those costs be deferred? I don't know. I think you... Okay, all right, all right. We all know the squirrel attack was a unique incident, and, and it's a cascade ago, effect months from ago, the drought. It's a cascading effect. This was before the drought. The squirrel incident was before the drought. Now, now the squirrels cause the drought. No, it's a cascade. No, no honestly, Doctor Ronnie, I would. Are there other individuals on the council who are currently speaking to Synchronity? Because these are things that would need to be brought up uh, in to the council. If there, I, I, if there no. is, I don't. Randy, I don't we can talk about this. Talk about it now. Talk about it now. Talk about it now. Talk about it yes. now. We deserve to know. Let's Due to a non-disclosure on. agreement, I can't discuss anything. Oh, come on. You're not, What's you're the not. Point? I, I'm we sorry. How can we, as a town, effectively elect a mayor that we know is going to serve the needs of this town if we don't understand what's going on in terms of the town council and their dealings with the corporation. Yeah. Yeah. We do need to yeah, know what she said. We do need to know the needs of the no, town that's currently Ronnie, being here. You're, you're not helping, Ronnie. What were the parameters I, 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 I of your NDA? I can't. What were the parameters of your NDA? No, no, we, we need to move on to the next can't question. can't discuss them. What do you want? Okay. Uh, ne next question, please. Uh, you, you have the floor. Hi, I'm, I'm Alicia Lindholm. Hi, Alicia. Uh, hi. Uh, so 
I uh, I was wondering with with the heat wave that's been going on, how we're uh, collectively as a town going to pre provide relief for both uh, human citizens but also our animal counterparts, even yes. including the squirrels. Um, and we also we're, we're having a slight homelessness problem too, and with people on the street, you know, how are we going to take care of them? Thanks. That that felt like multiple questions in one. Um, I but I think step one is uh, we know that the fracking is bad. Fracking, we don't like fracking, right? Yeah. We don't like fracking. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 be, and, it's cause, and the lake is messed up because of the fracking, so we need to fix the lake first, and, then, and so we can have clean water. So Thank what you. are you going to do to fix the lake? Yeah, how are we going to do that? The, uh, we have plenty, as uh, these fine gentlemen, except, well, I mean, have mentioned... Uh, but there are plenty of. They're not going to be there. So no, what are you going to do to no, this lake? No, what I'm saying is there are many engineers in town, as were mentioned, and, and I think engineers do that kind of thing. Thank you. What do you think? Well, I'm not sure. So you, I, you gave a hypothetical question. He's 18. I, I do think and, and, and know that I think that they do that. Thank you. You know you're If we can assemble. Rock solid. Rock solid. Come on. Rock solid. If we can assemble a, a, a task force that is able to bring How forth the engineers. How many task forces are you going to make? And as many as it takes to fix this town, sir. With which is more money? than you're doing. Well, it seems like Behind those, closed it doors. It seems like those task force are the ones who are fixing this instead of Task you. force made up by the people. Task force made up what by people that know what's what best. What are you doing? Organizing it. What you should be doing. You're organizing. You're not coming up with any ideas of your own. You're just passing yeah, because off problems I, to other people. Call me crazy, but I think the people I of this will. town know how to save it. Not me. Yeah. They do? Right. Yes, I do think well, that. I mean, you're all clapping for a man that just said he doesn't know how to save the town. I'm just pointing that out. Thank you. As Everyone, I'm not a messiah figure. I'm not perfect. I'm just like you. No, that's a guy uh, okay, calm, calm with like the floor. Uh, as was asked earlier about what resources we have in this town, obviously we have a large number of well-educated and talented individuals, which we could draw upon, who used to work at Synchrony AT. That's what I said. Sorry. And their expertise could be drawn upon in order to establish methods to help with this, perhaps even sinking some wells in order to find a clean source of water that hasn't been polluted by this fracking that was allowed, that we would rather never have been allowed. Uh, to piggyback on that, uh, to address the homeless uh, issue that you brought about, um, there's yard. plenty of uh, room to discuss uh, creating uh, 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 tax breaks for farming communities that are willing to employ uh, homeless people, that are willing to give them a, a living wage. Unfortunately, Additionally, yeah. Unfortunately, our farms have currently been hit by the drought, so it's not going to be something we can do immediately. So immediately we would have to but institute the, certain reliefs for those who are exposed to the, uh, to the, to the uh, environment and need to have help. If we can use the engineers that we have to create new forms of irrigation, then we can fix uh, a lot of the negative effects of the climate crisis. Then we can uh, help create uh, new job opportunities at these farms that will help uh, alleviate some of the homeless problems that you were referring to b b uh, before. Yeah. Very expensive. Yeah. Thank, thank you. It, it, it's Brooke, isn't it? You're, you're, you're talking with, with Brooke? Is that, is that why the, her farms not really affect all the? Uh, they're still producing at a high rate. What? Uh, where, how are they affording all of that water? Know, and I don't deal with it's, Brooke. it's Brooke, isn't it? You you and Brooke talking to Synchronity about. behind our back. Is that? I don't know what Brooke's doing. Paying you. That was a hard. They're not paying me. Come on, Doctor. Nothing. Answer there the haven't been any agreements. Did you agree to do no harm? Uh, sorry. Next question, please. Um, well. Didn't, Hi. yes, she brings up a good point about the hypocritical oath. Now, all right, please. It's the hip, 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 never mind. No, yeah, uh, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Jade Bright, the part-time library assistant. Hi, uh, I had a different question, but um, actually I would, I'd like to know more about, about this NDA. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, what? we'd all like to know about the NDA, right? Wait, we'd all like to know. What, what are you going to do as mayor about a council that is clearly working with a corporation, not necessarily with. It's, is it with our interests? You, you, you're not explaining that at all. No. Uh, who's, uh, who else's interests would they be? You're it's right. I'm trying to bring. I'm, yes. well, I'm talking to. The only thing I can say is I'm trying to help facilitate bringing back the jobs 
that we had lost. Specifically how? Just One would think that I, you truly had the best we're, we're, of the people in mind that you would be more forthcoming with what kind of dealings you're having with Sacred Anne. Well, You've also been very you, hurtful well, about non-locals. to deal with confidentiality, I thought you might understand about confidentiality. Yeah, agreements. not in a public office, though. Exactly. Yeah. Right. It's uh, actually, such a thing is classified information. We're legally it's, required, it's actually not Ronnie, like a, to, to share who we're talking to. The, the, we have processes here. Yeah, right. How are we processes. supposed to trust you if, you, if you're keeping all I'm these secrets? I'm trying to make those processes happen. Yeah. You, need to, you need to come NBA. to the rest well, of us first. I had something more solid. I was coming to you. Know, you understand that's called collusion? That's, right. Yes. That's for a crime. What he said. No crime has been committed. How do we know that? Don't you make enough money as a doctor? You're so interested in Mr. Lund providing you with more specific information on how he plans to fund all of these town committees that he is proposing, yet you're not being very forthcoming when we come to you with the exact same question. I understand that, but there's nothing to discuss yet. I'm trying to facilitate this action. What has been discussed discuss so far? Okay, I, I, I'm going to have to table. I, I apologize. I feel like I have escalated this, and we are going yeah. to have to table this issue. Uh, there, there will be Finally. a special um, meeting. Y yes, there will be a special meeting to Fine. deal with these issues. Which will uh, be overseen by the these, mayor these to make sure that the interest of the town is kept paramount. And it will be, uh, uh, there will be a stenographer handy that will be able to uh, record it and it will be on public record so that everyone in the town can know what is said. Hey, Randy. Make sure she's not paid off by the council. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, all right. Thank, thank you. Next question, please. This is going great. Uh, hey, uh, I'm Cam. Uh, Hi, Cam. Cambria. I know Lionel. you. Hi, Cambria. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Hanging I'm out at the, the cemetery a lot. lot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's good that's to see you. Cool. It's uh, a little creepy, sir, but that's fine. Oh, uh, okay. they're good. They're good kids. They're good kids. It's a cool place. It's like if yeah. you ever want to hang out. Uh, question, please. Sounds um, great. So I was just wondering what you guys would do uh, to involve young people of, of the town, like teenagers and stuff like that, like. More representation in in the council or or at, in, in these events and these things that you're planning. Like there's tons of representation of old people, but I think well, Mallory's maybe definitely yeah. showing this yes. is a great idea. And then, and I, and as you know, I am very new to government as well, um, and yeah. giving it my all. And I think it's important that we encourage uh, young people to get involved, uh, like myself, who is uh, who is running for mayor. I think Mallory the, Jenkins. The best way to help the the younger population to understand. To how to best implement their efforts into the local government would be to bring government, student government, to the fore at the school with the new principal once it has been chosen to allow more students to be involved in that government and the outreach from that bring government to dead the dad, local classy. government. For, forgive me. Uh, you sure have. I, I don't yeah. think young people should be involved in a phony government. I think young people should be involved in the real government, yeah. which is why yeah. I think that this council, this this uh, city government needs to have more internship positions open for young people yeah. so that you can get involved, so that you can earn college credit, so that you can... Uh, 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 you know, p use your time wisely mm -hmm. and, and, and be uh, uh, made better for it, yeah. and as well as uh, help mitigate uh, some of the uh, 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 rising employment costs here. Yeah, you know, it, it kind of sounds like you're just trying to give us like a, a play toy to distract us. No, I want yeah. you to get experience. Instead of letting us so actually get involved and have any kind of influence. I would, I would like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would. Exactly. I would like you to get the experience so you can make that voice heard. And, and when you turn uh, 18, which I believe you yeah, are. Yeah, I'm 19. For, for the... Uh, Young teens in the audience, when you turn 18, you have the ability to, to vote in these elections as well as run if you so choose, no matter your yes. qualifications. I don't think that's what, they're, I don't think that's what I don't they're looking for. Or even become a member of the council and do what you know is best. Yeah. All right. Praise God. Thank you. And, and rock on to you. Uh, pandering, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Come um, uh, yeah. Speaking... Uh, are, are you here? under? Yes. Are your parents here? Uh, n no. Great. I just have a quick.
question for Mallory. Yes. It's, why aren't you in jail for, for dealing drugs out of the Taco Bell? What? Because okay. everyone, wow. everyone First knew of all, was that when you ordered a number 420 meal, you put a fat sack now, of sticky icky into the order. This is and clearly a okay. right. That's enough. And now, this is and a I character it, And yep. mar- marijuana is a gateway drug, and it opened a gateway okay. to hell no, in my room. That's enough. And they no. took my gecko. This is an attempt at a character assassination what? and also the, fuck you. I will say, this, fuck me. You yeah. want to get froggy? I know Krav Maga, you little bitch. No, I know Jiu Jitsu. I will bitch. fuck you oh. all. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me right now. It's all right. It's all right. You're all right. Calm down. Flip your ears at me, son of a bitch. Um. What's Just remember, away? I'm it's not even sage. sure what we're it's doing. It stinks. This is why you the, must be of age to participate in these kinds of functions. Um, the art of jiu-jitsu is made. We can remove that from the record, Mr. Jenkins. That will be removed from the record. We don't need young high schoolers making childish claims. Yeah, that's that's. Oh, uh, Nick. Sl- <laughs> slander. <laughs> the word, Mallory, the word you're looking for is slander. Yeah. That's right. slander. Thank uh, you. Next, uh, next question, please. Yeah, I, first of all, come, come on. Wait, Everybody's wait, gotten wait, a chance no, to talk. Quiet, let, the, let the man have his question. All right, my name is Jacob Wells. Uh, you may recognize me as the janitor at Kolak High. Also, you may recognize me from my band that's been playing over at the Deer Tick, Delirium Spiral. Delirium Spiral rocks. They're really, ni- they're really good. Thank you. Mallory and uh, you know, I was uh, I was here at the last uh, council meeting, and uh, I watched uh, Merrill die in front of me, and I want to say that uh, your 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 father was always really kind to me. Okay, Mallory. Thank uh, you. He meant a lot that. to all the employees at the school, and uh, you know, Merle believed in something. He believed in Kolak first and foremost, but he believed in all of us, and and that includes you. Thank you. You know, Mallory, um, but he always said you were kind of dumb. And I, no, listen, your father loved you. I mean, I know he loved you to death. And he would be proud of you for everything that you've done. You are a hero. But let me tell you this, Mallory. If you're joking around up here, if you're jerking with Kolak, it's going to come back and bite you, you know? I'm not... What would your father say? I don't know. I can tell you what he would say. Get the fuck off the stage and remember who you are. Uh, okay, we don't yeah. we can we do don't that without the language. First All right. No, I mean like he probably so wouldn't have, he wouldn't have dropped the yeah. F bomb, but he would have asked you to be true to yourself. Go to college, right. clean your act up. Trust me, I found your dime bags in the school. You oh, used no, to hide them. Okay. <laughs> No, no, that's not. No, you, you hid your dime bags that's in science true. class behind the boilers. You taped them up under there, and you didn't think anybody would find them. No, I, I was the janitor, Mallory, and I found them, and I threw them out. How do you know? Well, that, uh, hypothetically, how would you know that they're mine? Okay, you just said you found dime bags in the school. Why would you I, that's, ask him hypothetically? Yeah. Because, I, because it's, why would a lot you just of, say, are, "How do you know they're"? There's a lot of accusations being flung around right now, and it's, all right, no. look, you look, 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 look. Here's, no, here's no, the we question. Want to talk about drugs in Kolak? Yeah, let's talk you know about drugs. Yeah. There's a drug in oh, Kolak that oh, doesn't exist. Really that's cheese. Hey, that's Charlie Burton. Hey, yeah. Hey, listen up. What the hell okay, is no, that? listen, listen. Okay, what, what? now everyone, now these people are talking in hypotheticals. Now this is real right here. Okay, do you know? Charlie Berger? Do any of you know Charlie Berger? Charlie Berger has been missing for the last seven days. Yeah. If anyone's aware of his whereabouts. That is a, that's a, that's a, this is, that's no. Okay, we found, now, we found him with drugs. Okay, and, and this is what it turned into. No, it wasn't our drugs. No, it wasn't our drugs. Okay, there's a problem. There's some something. Someplace safe. Oh, is it too unpleasant for you? Yeah, it is actually. This is our friend. Okay? Is this some kind of prank or some kind of joke? Does it look like a prank? We want to show the. Is this the punchline, Mallory? Is this it? No, there's no punchline. Look, something's going on. In this town oh, that, I, no, I, that no I'm one knows about, me, all right? Excuse, and I think that they're dealing on, drugs excuse, that melt people, okay? No, excuse me. They're, they're, yeah. They're, they're, excuse me. Ex- excuse me. There, there's a man just holding up a folder. 
you've been holding it for a while. I'm, I'm sorry. You got something? If you have something to say I that do. pertains Please. to the situation at hand. No. He does. Please. Yes, I do. Vander Wallace, private investigator. Oh, okay. So, and I have been what are you? hired to present this By information. Who? I will let them allow themselves to uh, disclose themselves, but this information should go on public record. Letterhead, Synchroneity Tech, August 7th, 1991. Dear Colloch City Council, I, Marcus Bennett, on behalf of Synchronicity Tech, can validate and confirm the accusations being brought forth against Mallory Jenkins. No, Mallory would routinely ah. sell marijuana from the Taco Bell Express to many young customers that frequented the establishment. No. His stash was located beneath the cash register taped next to the internal power supply. To hide these purchases, he would block the viewpoint of the security camera with his body. The images I have provided in collaboration with the business show Mallory in process of making a sale. It comes with deep regret that I must acknowledge Mallory is not suited for a role in local government. He has no interest in upholding the law that binds us sincerely. Marcus Bennett, pictures from camera are also provided. First of all, Marcus... First of all, Marcus is a lying piece of shit. First of all. Wait, is that why you were able to save 18 people? Were you high? No, I wasn't high. Okay? I I've never, we, I've we, never we did smoked. We give you superpowers. I've never once done marijuana. I've uh, never. One, oh, shit. one other not. message for the person who commissioned me. Please have the funds in my account for next 24 hours. And uh, call counsel. I am available for hire. To find out more information. Excuse me, Mr. Hussman, didn't you say you were speaking to someone at Synchrony? Not about this. But is it Marcus that you're talking to? Look, no, listen. Were you in communication with someone who who knew about this and and could have stopped a a drug dealer from being a mayoral candidate? Excuse me, now, Mr. Jenkins, this this evidence is quite alarming. I need to. Can I? We can address Speak. this later. No, I, may, may I say something on behalf of Mr. Jenkins? Uh, whether or not he has committed a crime uh, is up for the authorities to decide. And whether or not he is your next mayor is up to you to decide. Well, I just... Let me... Can I just I'm say something, really please? I'm getting really bad energy it's from this like jar. It, M- Mr. Jenkins... Well, it also doesn't sound like what marijuana does. Mr. Jenkins. I need to say something. Can I please talk? Here, okay. Can I? I'm now. Now I'm not admitting to anything. But if I, first of all, if I was to sell drugs secretly out of Taco Bell Express, I think that would show. Um, s- that would show business. Uh, ac- uh, Accurate. Yes. Uh. And 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 so and and as someone that run could run a small business. Now I'm not saying I did that. But secondly, you're also not saying you didn't. Secondly. If I may, uh, may, have you ever considered that maybe I was trying to break into the... I knew that there's a drug problem in Colock, and I was trying to break into that world hypothetically to find out what the hell is going on because our friend here melted from something that I think maybe they were responsible for. The, they mean yeah, the council? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We put them in the jar. I, Mr. Jenkins, how did Mr. you Jenkins. put a body in the jar? There, there are very clearly human body parts. I'm there to have to He disposed of that. There were pills. Why? Randy, 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 this needs to be investigated. I, I can't confiscate. I'm. If if those are really human remains. We need. We need I, 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 yeah, okay, that's okay, your the only person sense. right now that has any information, and, and with, there's a lot to deal with here, Mr. Jenkins. Given the al- the allegations that are very clearly allegations. You, th- well, these photos very clearly show you selling drugs. Jacket. I mean, were they what? 
He was blocking the camera. So Someone could be just be wearing, you know, they sell multiple jackets. I don't think this proves anything. Exactly. He first is of all. the first young man in Colock history to be kicked out of Scouts. I believe it. Wow. Okay, so Scouts out, stupid, outside okay. of these allegations, Mr. I, Jenkins, you, that's a terrible thing. you are making a claim that there is a body of an individual in there, and there is very clearly human body parts in that jar. Yes, there were drugs. And, and, have a mortician. Why have you not we, taken this to the police? The, the police, I believe, oh, actually, yeah, sorry, because actual human remains. Please. Oh, can we not yeah. do it? Yeah. 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 Can you talk? This is exactly what I mean by the people of Kolok standing up and taking charge of these problems themselves. We need a deputy here. I think you should show him the jar of human flesh. This is a crime scene. This is not okay. sanitary. Okay. Let, the record, not cool. let the record show Don't that. Don't release that. Yeah. Look, the government gave the drugs to Charlie that melted him. The government, you said, the, you're saying that the, the council, council you Yes. What drugs? Or synchrony what, or someone, we don't know. What drugs do you claim did this? Excuse me. There were pills. Excuse me. Excuse me. What drugs do you claim did this? I don't know what the drugs are, okay? All I, look, That's you told important. me there were, it came from a watermelon or something. Oh, my God. There's a finger in there. That's There's a, there is a finger. Not <laughs> right. I, there were some more of the drugs by the uh, what what are these drugs? What, 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 what do the pills look they're like? They're little, they're white, they're filled with some powder. There's did you, a little sticker on it with a with a crocodile uh, and an apple. Did you wait a minute? I, it's a yeah. yeah. real that, problem. That was just yeah. His body next to a pile of pills, and I scooped him in a jar. So you know I would leave. Uh, I would you scooped him with what though? Your bare hands. Yeah, but bare hands. What were you? What were you doing? Are you okay? Are you sick? I'm fine. Everyone's... Cheese well, cheese isn't fine. Shouldn't this be done in a lab? Or this um, yeah. This, uh, this is a crime scene. Okay. Exactly. So okay. These are actual human remains. That's what uh, I was uh, saying. Uh, that man needs a uh, kind of burial. Oh, okay, so... He's, he's not dead. dead. You're, you're, wait, he's, excuse me. Excuse me. Dead. He's not. Are you, that, that, are you that, saying you're, he's alive in that jar? Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying... Can you, can look, you please what I'm explain saying what those look like again? Randy, excuse me. This Sometimes we ask the jar questions, okay? And we go... To buzz two for yes, buzz one for no, and he buzzes. Wait, no, this is very no. important. Can you please explain what those drugs looked like? They were little white caplets. Like, Do you have them? Under, Give me a second. They were under an inch long. They were really skinny. They were filled with some white powder. There was a sticker on the outside with a crocodile uh, biting an apple. Does the name Crocodile Tears ring a bell for you? I No. I, I, I didn't... Hear anything about it, but yeah. Kind of okay, so um, yeah, because I scooped my friend up. Do you have a fucking problem? No, 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 uh, okay, excuse, so, okay. Has anybody it's looked at the night way. janitor from the school? I, I'm sorry, th this woman's trying to speak. She, what, what did, you, what's your point? Do you have any on you? I need to see them. Um, Give me. I didn't, I didn't bring them with me. I. Didn't. And she might, and she maybe she does have them, and maybe she doesn't. No, this is she very might, important. She does have this them. is, if that's what caused it. Yeah. Who ate chili? Uh, Wait, what did you what did you do to the chili? They're new experimental drugs. What? And what? What, what the hell did you do to my food? You gave us drugs? Did you drug us? Is that what it was supposed to at best? Make everyone way more chill. What? I'm chill enough. Oh, 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 oh. The chili. Randy, wait a minute. Randy. Oh Randy. Randy. You who are you? Ma'am. Ma'am, who are you? Who sent you here? What? No one sent me. My name is Riley. My name is Riley Race. Um, How long was it? Can I ask a question of the floor? This is me as the GM. Everyone who ate the chili tonight, please raise your hand. <laughs> For all those individuals who raised their hand, I want you to raise your right hand if you want high, left hand if you want low. <laughs> I'm going to ask the young woman to roll a d20. <laughs> she, is choosing, so <laughs> she is choosing for you in this moment whether you sink or swim. Holy shit. It will be up to the dice. I and you, for I clarification, those who swim <laughs> will go on the trip too. of a lifetime. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Oh, shit. Those who that's, sink. What if they had chili before the show? Yeah. So we could lose a mayoral candidate, right? That, didn't mean <laughs> that was me just getting cool. Okay. Those who sink. <laughs> just me, buddy. Okay. Those who sink will join our friend Charlie in the jar. 
His name is Jar Liefman. Uh, it's Jimmy Jarter. Uh, President Jimmy Jarter. <laughs> you can feel these effects, some of you, starting to take hold. It's 20. Oh, 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 so those who chose low Left hand. sink. Yeah. I chose high. Those who chose high do not. For all those that sink and for all those that swim, you feel an immense pleasure roll over your body. Can everyone who did not eat the chili please raise your hand? I brought my own snacks. <laughs> I only eat kale. I was too nervous. You to see it was, yeah, before you, as your fellow Kolok residents begin to lose control of their perception of reality. <clears throat> Those who did not eat the chili, I need each of you to please join in the line where you will all roll one at a time to see just how well you help deal with this crisis. Do I need to roll again? Grit? I think you've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> should I go? <laughs> the police are on the way. It's up to you if you would uh, like uh, to. D12. I was advised... Or at least, I? I think it's a grit the head of this committee sure. was advised. Oh, are, we, are we rolling as well? Up here? Did you eat the chili, or would you like to help? The help. I need to help. A couple things are all going to play out at around the same time. All of you feel this effect taking hold, and the ones who did not, you see what it does to others. Though things might not be strange in Kolok, things might not be unusual, they can still be horrifying in how they affect you. So I would like each of you to please roll a d6, three and above. I will say that you can choose one person who did not sink to get out. Can I also attempt to help? Yes, you may. Please choose someone who is swimming that you would like to remove from this chaotic incident. For those that are swimming and not sinking, please raise your hand. Your fate is now going to be decided by those who chose not to eat the chili. And I would like the help of the moderators in the chat to help keep track. For those that do not get out of this building or who sink, their presence will no longer be a part of Kolok. So please, we'll leave it to you. Now, for those who might be religious in the room, there's an explanation for this. To Same. you, of course. Same. The easiest explanation. Just brings you closer to God. Whoever is next, please continue. Four. Save someone. Four. Hands up. As this goes down, the rest of you can please, you know how to continue. The chat will keep an eye on you. For those here, as a D6. So glad I brought bagels for myself. A three. You run, saving only yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. God, this coward. Any 50 50? Are we rolling as D6? Oh, I'm going to say four, five, or six. Please, roll. You didn't eat it. Obviously, you save only yourself. Do I have any tokens? Are we Mallory, you have one token available. Doesn't help. Are we doing a six? I will say that you all see Mallory run. You recognize Mallory running from the scene. For those that do notice this, it may not mean much. Obviously, your perception of reality is quite Steve. challenged. Is it a six? Out of a, yes, two okay. six. Five. Who would you like to help in this situation? Out of Maxi, who hated Mallory. <laughs> I was going to save him if I had rolled her. Please, Kelly, a d6. Four. 
Save someone. Save. Six. Save. The lovely goth young lady that's visited mm. me for a reading. <laughs> and then the she's. Oh, she's. Oh, she's yeah, okay, no. <laughs> oh, with the hands. The mortician. Yeah, oh, the mortician. The, the, the mortician uh, gets pulled out. <laughs> Five, save someone. Uh, I got gotcha. you. I'm, I'm really sorry for saying you people so many times. So. <laughs> <laughs> you run with Mallory. Just because that was funny as hell? All right, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, we have some actions to resolve here as this is all happening very quickly as these drugs take, start to take hold. You have seen... I know. Young Laura Bennett here has seen the effects of this drug close hand when she ran into a scientist in the tunnels. What it did to her arm. How it survived after its head was removed from its body. And what was left of that body afterwards. She would like to, on her way out running with Mallory to safety, take cheese with her. So, I'm going to have you roll your fight versus your fight. Well, I would have gone to save the other person, though. So you're not going to challenge this. The jar is open. I will say then you have no problem at all taking cheese with you (laughs) as the room erupts into chaos. She cleans him every day. I do, thank you. Yeah, I got it. For everyone who is not saved, we still have some more. Five, Josh Peterson. Uh, I'm going to say the young woman who is sitting across from me. Right there in the shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Simply because of last time. Last time. It's a three. You run. Saving no one. Now, for those. Oh. Councilman. Me, me. Council Randy Evelyn is a chicken shit. Oh, he he runs ran. like that. <laughs> <laughs> now. For everyone who is either not saved or sunk, please raise your hand. Mark this date, it will be known. Mark this moment. For this is when Kolok first learned of the epidemic that it was plagued by. The terrible drugs that had spread throughout the town and what it does to its inhabitants and those who consume it. Many questions remain, but there is a point of order, one more thing that needs to be resolved. Young Mr. Jenkins legally is no longer allowed to run for mayor, given the allegations allegations that were sent forth as well to the police, not just the council. He was removed from the ballot that night. I expect the moderators to update and for those at the board to go ahead and cut to the screen while the chat votes for the new mayor of Colock. Oh. August 9th, 1991. The ballots are being counted, processed, but it seems like an afterthought. Uh, Something that I'm sure will feel important later, but for the moment, the town mourns. A lot of good people have been lost. Those who got out with their lives share their story with others. The story that was told. No one seems to be able to see, to find, young Mallory Jenkins, the young Charlie Berger, who they claimed was in that jar as well, or Laura, what did you say your last name was to these individuals? Benvolio. Benvolio. All are being currently looked for, for answers. Not because they are in trouble, outside of selling weed out of Taco Bell, of course, (laughs) but because answers are what are needed now. So I'm going to ask Actually, I don't need to ask. 
the new mayor of Colock, Washington, as the sun rises, is none other than Kelvin Light. Yes, let's clap in celebration. Because <laughs> that's what we need. Thank you for watching Colock 1991. Good night. You found yourself back at the start.